AJ Styles has become the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion, but WWE spoiled it and spoiled it for almost everybody, even the people in UK who still had to watch it on tape delay that weren't there, which I found out today. Plus, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn sent home, and most people believe AJ it is Styles not has a become work. the new WWE. I repeat, it is not a work, according to many of these people. I still think it's a work, but it might not be. And tons of other wrestling news that you haven't even heard of. It's going to be nuts tonight. Out of nowhere, get your privates out. And get ready to donate live, because we need to eat, motherfuckers. Let's start this shit. Down the aisle, weighing 375 million pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, from Boston, Massachusetts, my pie! What is going on tonight? Welcome to Out of Nowhere, episode something something, because I don't remember, but we'll figure it out later. I just don't give a shit right now. We are here with Jake DeMarco. Okay, Fabe is on assignment. He's not here tonight. Well, it's just the cat's out of the bag. We sent Okay, Fabe uh, over to Connecticut to investigate Vince McMahon's private parts. Let's just say that. He's going to swallow Mr. McMahon's private parts and tell us what's up. But I am here with Jake DeMarco. We are what's going on, everybody? We're also going to take your phone calls. Jake's going to talk to you guys about sexuality in the 2017s oh yeah i'm just kidding i'm really kidding I'm, i am kidding speed dating for the millennials dude let's get right into it because we're already starting late like i did my q a that ran late everything else tonight that i've done is late we are going to take your phone calls we are going to have live do donations active if you want to donate the link is in the description box down below and the dollar sign below in the chat you can super chat too whatever you want to do to support the show go for it tonight we'll alert you off the bat but let's get right into it jake uh everybody knows about aj styles becoming the champion i corrected myself slightly because what i, I was in fights with many people from the uk and I guess what like they were trying to say now that I see what they're saying is that the people in the UK the other night also were on tape delay, so they didn't see it either. So this was spoiled for everybody. Yeah, because if you weren't in attendance live, then it was spoiled for you. So, so makes sense. So I get now because I was like I was like no because normally you guys see it live when it's in the US. We we all see it live in the US. But how much of a botch don't you think it's don't you think it's a botch to have the WWE Championship won for the first time since 2002 on li on television and SmackDown, and the show be taped. But was the show taped in 2002? I don't even know. So maybe I'm being uh, an idiot. At certain points, they did go live again, but it wasn't long. 
I right. believe. After the brand split, I think they went live for a but, little but bit. But also it was different then. Like it wasn't I mean, social media wasn't as crazy as it is now. Like we all could go online and read the spoilers back then. But Yeah, we could we could, you know, pick up and find out what happened. And plus it wasn't, you know, it was days ahead. Then it went to Friday nights, then it was back to Thursdays, then Tuesdays. It was all over the place. No, Friday night SmackDown, Thursday night SmackDown. Was it Tuesday before too? Yeah, there was a, a Tuesday at some points, and they had those super SmackDowns, and so yeah. I mean, there's so much news coming in today; it's it's uh, fucking impossible to keep up with. But uh, you know, like like everybody said, they threw a curveball at us. Good, bad, and different. Bro, I enjoyed it. Like looking, I said, I wish it wasn't spoiled, but. Uh, Brian Alvarez and a few others actually reported that the man behind all of the changes happening is none other than Vince McMahon himself. Apparently, a lot of people weren't in the know backstage. Um, it, it's being reported all over the place that none of the people involved in the title change were made privy to the plans of AJ winning the title until just before they got to gorilla position to go out there. Wow. Um, part of the reason that Vince did this is being said because AJ rubbed his back so he rubbed AJ's AJ flew 15 hours from a live show to be at the previous pay-per-view to fight Finn Balor and then also appeared the next two nights in succession you know he filled in at Raw he went ahead so they're saying that since he went above and beyond for the company that's part of the reason that Vince did this for AJ well uh, AJ Styles has done everything they've asked of him he has been exactly and then some I mean, he's been, Vince coined him as the bulldog or a bulldog mentality. He has been a bulldog this entire thing. He's, he's been a beast uh, for them, uh, no doubt about it. Um, by the way, we are going to take phone calls, 339-226-6610. Just call the show, and we will take your phone call, uh, and we'll be ready to go. So make sure you call the show. And we uh, were right, by the way. Uh, it was supposed to be John Cena as the special guest referee. I was right. The they, they, they advertised that. Match. They advertised yeah. it, right? Yeah, what the uh, fuck? I yeah, it was it. announced earlier, but the, that was still, you know, the, the set plan. But the problem is now is that they felt that this would sell better. There was a there was a very bad reception, and this is basically Vince's way of responding to internet criticisms about Survivor Series. It, it wasn't getting the drive or the attention that he wanted for one of his marquee pay per views. He felt like it wasn't, you know, garnering the attention that's uh, deserving of, uh, you know, Survivor Series. So he went ahead and decided that AJ would be a better seller versus Brock Lesnar, you know, in the sense of ticket sales. And who better to be the champion than someone that is a company man? You know, he's working so hard to make sure that he's putting the company on his back. So all around, good decision. Yeah, I got you there. Uh, let me see here if we can get him on here. Hey, uh, Connor, what's up, man? Hey, Joe, how you doing? Good, how you doing, man? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I just wanted to call in and um, say two things. Okay. Um, first, uh, I've been a fan of yours for a long time. Yeah, man, you've maybe been here. Maybe you know that, maybe not. But uh, yeah, I've got you. I've I still got actually, you in here as a, like an original patron, like because I your your yeah your thing still says like patron, which is like from a year or a half ago when I did that. Exactly. I actually found out about you from JD. I was one of those guys back in the day. Um, and I, I wanted to say like, it was a couple of days ago <laughs> and I, um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, the JD, he lost me and I'll bring it back to wrestling because that's what this is about. Um, he was a really good guy in giving the truth. And I liked your show because you brought a comedic aspect to wrestling and JD was more in your face. This is what's wrong. So it's good to get the two perspectives. Yeah, I like that. But he it's really, different. exactly, it was cool. And he really rubbed a lot of people the wrong way, though, in in the way that he was, I'm right, you're wrong, kind of thing. And what really, if you go back and you watch his reviews, it was when Cass and Enzo were breaking up, and he said that there's no way that Cass was the guy attacking like Enzo backstage and Cass couldn't have been the guy doing it. And I was like, well, if you look at the evidence, it could be Cass. I know they're trying to sell it, that it's not him, but you can't call the people believing that retards. 
Like, JD, I've been a big fan of yours, and it's probably cast. I think that. Don't call me a fucking retard because, and that I'm stupid for believing that. And then it turns out to be true. Whereas you are a lot more open minded and a lot more like, oh, you know, the WWE could do this, they could, could do that. And so JD really lost me there. And it doesn't surprise me when he want, went on his Twitter delete tirade bullshit. Like, it didn't surprise me at all because the way he treated the people that didn't believe the things he believed, he treated them like shit. And when it blew up in his face, you didn't hear a, hey, I'm sorry for the people that believe that Cass was the guy doing it. He just was like, he just completely threw it under the rug, acted like it never happened. Well, and I mean, really pissed me. I, I will tell you that Go he ahead. does do that. I, I don't want to turn it into a, the, this show about him or about bashing him, but uh, I mean, real quick, mm -hmm. the dude's got fucking problems. And, and I don't know what the yeah. fuck that comes from. Like, honestly, it's really fucking weird. And, and that's all I'll say. He does this to everybody. I get I get hundreds of emails. At the, when I used to do stuff with him, I would get emails every day. Someone that he blocked over just a fucking weird, like, disagreement about nothing, really. Like, I mean, like, I block people mm -hmm. when they're just completely insane. Like, but, like, if somebody is, like, if, I've, I've even seen people on Twitter write, like, Jinder's awesome, you idiots. Like, I didn't block that guy. He's... I don't even agree with him. I think he's just mm -hmm. trolling. I think the guy's just trolling people. But I don't even Jinder block that sucks, guy. But it's, that's an opinion, you know. That's, yeah, I that's mean, like, problem. but yeah. So I don't want to turn into a bashing thing on him. I'm not even want to talk about him really. But I mean, exactly. yeah. I mean, but dude, I, all I'll say is you are like the one millionth person to to, to bring this shit up. Mm -hmm. There's there's still people that love yeah, him. Yeah, sorry, and, man. No, but no, it's okay. It's just I'm just it's just funny like that it keeps happening and it's like yeah I know there's something weird. I, I don't know what to tell you about him. I'm fucking weird yeah, too, but in a different way. But uh. Yeah, that, just back to wrestling, I just yeah. wanted to say, I think you guys hit the nail on the head with the AJ Styles thing. The fact that he showed up and, and fought uh, on Raw, I think they're really just rewarding him for that. And they, I hate to say it, they may give the belt back to Jinder oh, yeah. before, uh, yeah, it sucks, but. Well, uh, there's a couple of aspects to this. Yeah, we'll get yeah, into yeah, thank it. Thank you, Connor, so much man. For you're a good call. guy. Thank you, man. Thanks for all the support he, he over makes the a years. a good point. You know, I, I really, before we get into the wrestling news, you, any fan, viewer, anybody, patron, you know, aside, giving money to somebody doesn't give you the right to be an asshole. You can't just, you know, uh, pr provide monetary value and then say, oh, well, you're a fucking cunt. You know, it, it doesn't work like that. But if you're supporting someone, you're faithful to them, and you simply give an opinion and you get blocked or denied, you know, a chance to speak your mind, that's fucked up. So that's what I'm going to say about that. Anyway, really weird, AJ, um, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's, it's that's bizarre. All I can say is that it's he's we, it's weird, like the it, stuff. It's very like, and I can tell you off air the stuff that he would say about people. It's like what the fuck. I mean, I, I don't want to make it about him. That guy called and brought it up, but I mean, like the stuff he would say, I'd be like, dude, like he's just a listener. Why don't you just ignore what he's saying and just enjoy his Patreon, enjoy his opinions because they're his opinions, and then just do your own opinion. You're the one with the platform. Why are you getting mad at someone's tweet or because someone in the comment section said, I disagree with you, here's why. Like, why didn't you just comment on why you disagree with his disagreement? Why would you be like, just fuck him and block him? I don't get it, but whatever. Fucking, it's his Yeah, deal. no, I know. I was talking Maybe about... Maybe when you, you have know, a million fucking, uh, you know, 80,000 subs, you just don't give a shit. I mean, I don't fucking know. I, there's I don't, AJ I don't stuff. Get it. Move on. Uh, let, let's move on. I, I don't want. I'm not bashing anybody. I don't know why the. No, I didn't bring no. it up. I don't fucking want to talk <laughs> about him. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, AJ, you know, really going above and beyond for the company. It's it's a huge deal, and it, it is said that also rumor has it that Brock wasn't comfortable facing gender. I don't know how how true that is. I've heard it from a few different sources. Doesn't mean shit nowadays. People pump out everything and say it's credible. Well, actually, if you watch the match, I mean, dude. Jinder beat the shit out of AJ Styles. Do you see when he Leah told me like, and I went back and watched it. He slammed him on the corner of that table. Yeah, he's like, always been an unsafe worker. That's part of the reason I don't like him. I mean, he gave Finn a concussion. He's 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 injured people time after time. He's he's always been very stiff and and rugged. So I I don't know. I feel like his his hands get a little too wild. You you only something I'll say real. We'll get back to this, but something I'll say in defense of the J Man. Uh, is, you know, when you have so many listeners and so many subs and shit gets out of control, you know, you just fucking, after a while, it just all becomes noise and shit and crazy, and you start, I could see you start blocking people, so, I mean, maybe I don't blame them, you know what I mean, I, I, shit happens to me, and I'm just like, what the fuck, too, so I can't imagine having even more than this to deal with, so, you know, uh, maybe yeah, that's yeah, I can, fun. I can understand, you know, if you play devil's advocate, and you have to go ahead and develop a thick skin, I mean, you, you get, 
bullied and shit on and, and, and just destroyed. And especially with the wrestling community, people are very opinionated because you have people that you like, you have fans that you, you know, really stick to one person. So if you say Roman sucks, I didn't even tag or at anybody. I made a simple comment about Roman. I got blocked like 30 times. I had 50 different comments. I mean, it's ridiculous. People seek it out and they, they just love to attack you for it. But like I said, I, I, I can see him in that regard. But when you have regular viewers and fans and patrons and they come to you and they're not being aggressive and they simply say, hey, you know, what do you think about this? And then you call them a fucking retard and, you know, or <laughs> tell them they're better off dead. Oh, that's kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe you could be like Charlie Sheen and just fucking sodomize somebody. I don't know. Oh, uh, that too. We'll talk about that Monday, uh, Friday night on Monetize This, by the way. And anybody who joined me in my Q&A live earlier on Patreon, holy shit, did you get a surprise? Uh, if anybody missed You're not the, kidding. any patrons out there missed the Q and A on Patreon earlier, go back and listen to it. Especially at the end, we get a special call, and I totally punked his ass. I'll tell you that I punked his ass out. Anyway, Jake, what else you got on this story? I mean, we kind of cut you off there. No, I mean AJ. Apparently, like I said, he didn't know that he was going to win the title, and uh, Brock didn't feel comfortable facing him. Brock has a lot of clout, as a you know, a good amount of say. Whatever he wants to say goes. So I can imagine that Vince, one, rewarded AJ for all of his hard work. Two, AJ's immensely popular globally. You know, there isn't a market that doesn't eat up everything that he does. And he's being rewarded for, you know, carrying the company, essentially. So that speaking, I know they want to branch more into India and China. They've been, they've been trying to get into the Asian market. You know, they've, they've, been, they've had a lot of aspirations to do so. So we'll see how that goes going forward. But I envision AJ dropping the belt past Survivor Series. We could still see Mahal with the title at WrestleMania. I kind of think that's what's going to happen regardless. I think that Jinder Mahal is going to win the belt in India because they're going there, what, December 1st, 17th, yeah. something like that. They're, they're, they have the Indian tour coming up. So, it, Dude, it totally this totally reeks of them. Just It just seems like it's going to go right back to him at some point. I mean, that's what everyone's going to talk about. That's what everybody's going to say. Anybody with anybody who's a really critical person in WWE is going to be like, don't get so excited, you know, because guess what's coming? And that's probably what's... Um, exactly. I mean, this is a huge match. This is a dream match for a lot of people, myself included. You're going to see Brock Lesnar take on AJ Styles. It's going to be fucking incredible, hopefully, if Brock actually wants to work that night. But <laughs> Yeah, and who knows if he will. Uh, on the phone right now, taking phone calls all night. So uh, Buck is on the phone. Buck Awesome. What's up, Buck? What the fuck oh, is shit. this motherfuckers? The God fuck damn, is up? I got a lot of fucking shit to fucking talk about. Fucking, I got a lot of shit that's on my mind. Fucking, I've been arguing with goddamn liberals on this fucking goddamn fucking Twitter shit. Fucking, they fucking exhaust me. I passed out in this fucking Ken show. Ken, if you're fucking listening, I'm sorry. I'll fucking <laughs> go on your fucking show on Saturday. Anyways, I got some shit to talk about. I know this is a wrestling fucking show, so I'll just make this fucking quick. One, Diane Feinstein, you fucking cuck. Fucking, you fucking want to ban assault weapons? Fuck you. Why don't, uh, wait, 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 wait a minute, why don't you, if you do want to go, why don't you call and monetize this? Why don't you call tomorrow night? Cause we, I mean, Friday night, because we'll, we'll go all all over this stuff. Absolutely. All right, I'll, 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 I'll talk about that fucking later. All right, Kevin yeah. Dunn, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> goddamn, fucking you beaver tooth motherfucker. Go back, build your fucking den, piece of shit. Fucking, I like what they're doing with fucking AJ, but they're going to fucking just feed him the gender fucking tip on the hall. Fucking goddamn fucking the women's division I'm not fucking interested in. And, uh, what do you think of what happened to Ellsworth? What about Ellsworth what? the other night fighting Becky Lynch? Did you like that? Uh, El Ellsworth is a fucking fuckboy. Honestly, he'd, get, he'd fuck fucking boy. get killed up here. Fucking Ellsworth, fucking, he needs to fucking go. Fucking... Carmella, I don't know what the fuck they're going to do with her. Um, let's see, K Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, I don't know what the fuck is happening with them. Well, um, th th that's what we're going to talk a about lot next. Of crazy shit. Buck, that's what we're going to get into right now. And Buck, call call Friday night and monetize this. You, you, we're going to kill it with you that night. I'm not saying I agree with you, but we'll talk yeah, about it Friday night. fucking ain't right. Buck don't give a fuck. Like yeah, you said, Buck don't give a fuck. Coming in like a Mack truck. Friday night's going to be nuts. I'll monetize this. Uh, so, do you think that this is a work with Owens and Sami Zayn being sent home? There's, like, multiple allegations. Tell us what the maybe what the allegations are. It sounds like you learned about a couple more new ones that maybe we didn't know about. Yeah. Um, 
it's really bizarre. I don't think it's a work. I think Vince is trying to rein in his stars at this point. I feel like he feels he's slowly losing control of the talent, and he wants to keep everybody in line. What I've heard so far, it, this seems the most likely, most valid, is that Vince feels like he's somewhat losing control of you know the locker room, and he wants to rein it in. Uh, it makes kind of sense because I guess the plan was, as odd as it sounds, after Sami Zayn lost to Kofi Kingston on SmackDown, he went ahead and got his ass kicked. He went and was uh, getting attacked. Kevin Owens ran in the ring, but they weren't supposed to run off after the fact. They were supposed to get destroyed by the New Day. It was odd looking. I did notice, even watching it live, I thought, that's weird that he just ran in there to kick him and then ran out. Like, it was just a yeah, weird... Yeah, they kind of just... You know, I liked it because I thought it was like, funny. And ran out. I thought it was funny that they that he jumped in and went uh, and then ran out of the ring. Well, it fits with their characters, but apparently that wasn't what was supposed to happen. Uh, the back and forth was supposed to result in the new day, you know, getting fed, uh, you know, and, and kind of getting a comeuppance against, you know, Owens and Zane. Uh, you uh, said come and up. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> So, I mean, I, I don't know. It, it sounds likely, but they weren't supposed to run off. They were supposed to go ahead, get their ass kicks. And, you know, these two are pretty close to Jimmy Jacobs and Neville, who recently left. Yep. They've also been noted as difficult to work with backstage at times. I mean, Pro Wrestling Sheet said uh, that the prize fighter and the underdog from the underground have been difficult to work with backstage. They haven't seemed very happy lately. And then uh, Sports Illustrated reports that this was a decision approved by Vince McMahon himself to kick them off the remainder of the tour. Wow. And then PW Insider also reports Kevin Owen was complaining loudly about the incident on the tour bus following the show. What and happened on the tour bus? Did we know about that incident? No, we don't know anything about that yet, at least nothing that I've seen. If anybody hears anything, you know, make sure you hit us up on Twitter. Really? But, yeah, another person also noted that this wasn't a big deal, but they said that it was the last straw and forced WWE's hand. Uh, I guess they'll be back on the road soon. It isn't a long-term thing. But they're trying to make them less of a comedy duo following Hell in a Cell. And, See, that's why you know, it just reeks to me that they're going to show up at Survivor Series and do something crazy. Well, I guess you know? they were supposed to. Initially, they wanted them to screw over... Shane McMahon's team for Survivor Series, but now I guess with them being kicked off, the plan is to have Jason Jordan turn heel and screw over Team Raw and screw over Kurt Angle. <laughs> right? You thought this would have <laughs> happened with him like already, right? I mean, like a while ago, they would have done this with Jordan. Like, but I know. Now but they're going to do it. Fuck me. Half Black Son? <laughs> you yeah, know, like, I mean, it's, just, uh, it's so awkward. So think about it. How much changed it in, in a short span in just, you know, 48 hours this week? AJ takes the title. So now Cena's no longer the special guest referee. So then they have to change plans. They move Cena to the become the fifth man on Team SmackDown, which makes no friggin' sense at all. He went ahead and he sent out a tweet earlier. He said, I'm ready to answer the call, whatever and whenever, you know, I'm needed. Where SmackDown Live? When Survivor Series? But he's still shown on the WWE.com on the Raw roster. The last time we saw him was facing Roman Reigns on a Raw pay-per-view. So, fuck me and call me Susan. I don't know. It doesn't really make much sense. But well, we gotta play. We got some uh, people chiming in on uh, via donations here. We're gonna let some of these play. Let's see what you guys got to say in the donations, and we'll also continue to take phone calls and try to get all this shit, shit out of here. bum. Shit bum. Just showing love. Haven't been called a shit bum in a while. Oh man, listen. I got all the love in the world for you. I'm brother love. Fuck you, Puff Daddy. Uh, brother loves Bruce Pritchard's coming after you. Nate from VA 804. Thanks for becoming a five dollar shit bum. Appreciate that, Nate. You have always been a wonderful shit bum on this show, and you keep the show going with your shit bum ass. Jake, you you want to call uh, Nate a shit bum? Shit bum. He's the ultimate shit bum tonight because he's the first one to start it us off right. That's right. Nate's the first one. And now uh, it tells everybody the leaderboards are also here, too, by the way. Uh, yeah, that's just, awesome. That's it, a great new feature. Shit bum. <laughs> here if it is again. Vince really wants to reward the company man, AJ Styles. That's true. He'll have him go over part-timer Brock. Yeah, that's... Uh, I don't know if that will happen, but, man, it will be, it'll be something. 
it will be something for sure. Uh, Abel Sellers Jr. Could you imagine? If, if Could AJ you imagine? beat Brock, that would that would. I mean, we talked about it that nobody really from the new, like the new locker room, the current real rock locker room, not a Goldberg, not somebody like that, has really ever beat Brock Lesnar. Yeah, no one. But but you really gotta believe that that spot is reserved for Roman Reigns, right? I mean, we. I mean, is anybody it feels that way? It certainly feels that way. Who would think it's not? Young Glons one, thanks for subscribing to the channel. We're having a fucking subscription party, Young. So, um, Woo. thank you very much for that. I'll just yeah, like let... Canadian Basement just said, if AJ beats Brock, I too will literally shit my pants. Like I will defecate in this seat. I'll go nuts. I I, I mean, I was excited enough just to hear the spoiler that he was champion. H U so. Joe, love right. the show. Glad to see you live again. Oh, I live again, Pavy. What's up, Pavy? Thanks for the hundred bits. And I'm live again. I'm always living. You're not live. You're living. I'm living. Pavey, I appreciate that. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, but I just, I, I just thought it was messed up that they spoiled this for everybody. It was really the, a time when it should have really exploded for everybody and made everybody happy and freaked out. Instead, we just really got a subpar celebration. But do you think that him winning the U.S. title on a house show? You think that was also part of you like an? You donated oh, wait a minute. fifty bucks. Whoa. I'm gonna take my dick out because you donated oh, fifty yeah. bucks. You donated fifty bucks, mo fuck boy. I'm a rich mo fucker. Hello, dear Joe and Jake. I love you both. Shout out to all my loves in the chat. There is so many. Oh, Joshy, Nelda, Drew, Adam, Te amo and love you lots. Oh, Shell. Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Shell! Dropping $50, one of my favorite donations. Uh, and Shell, I'm going to give you a Alex Jones stab you for that uh, donation, Shell, for the big 50 bucks. Here it is. Gonna stab your daughter at the mall. Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna stab your wife, Shit your bomb. son. Hey guys, since in January at Raw 25, I was wondering is Gangrel in good terms with WWE and Beep. if so, do you think they will bring him back and why is our USV not on Team SmackDown? Uh, why is Rusev not on Team SmackDown? I don't because they don't they don't really like Rusev anymore. Really, he's not even you know he's just down so far down the line, broken lion. Uh, Gangrel's on okay terms with WWE. When I spoke to Gang, I've seen Gang, I've talked to Gangrel a lot. I've got Gangrel as my cell phone. He's such a cool guy. He was like, here, you want to call me? Here's the number. He just gave me a cell phone. Gangrel. He's fucking awesome. Uh, the Brood was the shit back in the day. I love The Brood. When they would come out and, oh, get ready. Yeah, yeah. Know, yeah, it was awesome. I still love that theme song. I think that's one of my, my favorites from the Attitude Era. It is one. It is one of the best theme songs. And I think he's on fine terms. The only thing is he does all that porn stuff, so I, I, I think that that... You know, there was a lot of stuff that went down with them that didn't work out. I, I don't think Gangrel was very happy with him. Gangrel's a very, very nice guy. Kind of like, I don't know, he's just such a nice guy. I don't know exactly what's going on right now. But I assume that being a director of porn, maybe that hinders him a little bit. I don't know, though, because Gangrel versus his, you know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah it's a bit of a hard I'll ask sell. him that, though. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll, I will ask him that. I will absolutely ask him that. In fact, I'll That'd just text cool, him though. that. I'd, I'd mark out to see him return. Well, he, he he's awesome. He was at Summer Showdown. He he's been at Top Rope multiple times. He still can go. And, and you know what's funny? Yeah, you said he was kicking ass, dude. TK Ryan. I was in the locker room after this. I can say this. I know that most of the time I don't like repeating what wrestlers say, but one of the things that I remember TK Ryan was surprised about. He was like, dude, he was out there selling for me. Like like TK Ryan appreciated that. Like because Gangrel was out there fucking like he was twenty two year old Shawn Michaels. Like, you know, TK would hit him, and he would be like, raw, and he would flip over the ropes. Like, I mean, seriously, Gangrel was out there selling for TK Ryan, selling as hard as he could for anybody that he gets in the ring with. And this is Gangrel, who doesn't need to do that. Yeah, you figure when you have a, a you know, quote-unquote legend or anybody in that, you know, that status or that stature, when they go ahead and they go to a local or independent show and they work with the wrestlers like that, that speaks volumes. That's huge. It That's how you get invited back. It really is because he could have just sat back and let TK Ryan be the the heel guy that beats him up half the match, and then at the end, and they did do that, but but that that's it. Just that you barely do anything, you get beat up slowly, then you fight back at the end and win, and then it's all over. But no, he gave TK Ryan's match with him was really really good. 
Um, other than Billy Gunn's match that night, like there was like the opening match was really good. Anyway, nobody knows what I'm talking about, but we'll be selling the DVD soon. You guys can see it, and I'll be on commentary. Uh, Matt, the Misfit, is on the line. Matt, what's up, bro? Vince McMahon, where's my money? Because I said it tw tw uh, 16 <laughs> hours before the announced John Cena as a member of SmackDown. Yes, you did. Oh. That was on my I list. literally said, you did. Wouldn't, I was like, here's a thought. What if Cena joins Team SmackDown? What happened 16 hours later? <laughs> Well, well he, I even said it last night on the second I was like, I don't know who the hell could be it because I don't I didn't think they'd go with the Cena angle. I thought it was just too out there. And really I think quick, they're just done with the Mahal. I really think they're done with Mahal. That and then Rusev as well, he tweeted out, Congrats to my friend John Cena who qualified for the Survivor series, fair and square. Go that, get them, true. Tiger. Wait, wait, that's just Rusev though. He does it all the time. No, I know, but it, it was it was so poignant because yet again Cena just gets you know to enter the match, and of course he he's John Cena, but I would have what, rather seen what Bruce brand isn't he spot. isn't he on Raw though, or is he on SmackDown? I don't he's a do. free agent; he can come and go as he friggin' pleases. Kind of like know. the Undertaker, he can be say he's just loyal to SmackDown, and they show up on Raw. Yeah, they just go anywhere, yeah, pretty much. SmackDown is my home, except Vince McMahon told me to go to Raw. I don't know if you guys got to the War Games rules yet, but uh, still, they're still confusing me. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're so going with the older rules. Uh, Gina, what's up in the chat to Gina? Uh, we, I'll let Jake explain this. He'll probably explain it a lot better than me because it's a really confusing mess. But they're going with the with the older with the newer rules from WCW. Which, to be honest, I'll throw my two cents in there. The reason why I think they're doing it is because it, as far as match planning goes, it allows it. It's easier to plan for the way they're setting it up than the way it used to be, but here's a Kane donation. My name is Kane, and, and I'm, I'm donating a... Hey, Joe, and my fucking nickel with a thick pickle Jake DeMarco. Oh, yeah. Vince McMahon is snorting cat piss-like on like South Park. <laughs> Only Snort someone that cat can piss. add a part-timer to represent SmackDown. Mm. Stereot's Mahal finally got caught with a needle in his balls. <laughs> Thank you, no death. Thanks for the donation, No Death. No Death? No Death, oh, this yeah, is for you. No death. Oh, okay, so no, seriously, though, he said... Uh, <laughs> no gag reflex. He, oh, no, I can go all the way. It goes all the way down. Oh. It just goes all the fucking way down. Uh, no just Death slides in. He says, Vincent Mann is snorting cat piss like South Park. Only someone can add a part-timer. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I get what he's saying, though. Yeah, I mean, it really is. A, for everything they do right, they fuck up that much more. I, I'm so sour about some things, and I'm trying to enjoy some of these, you know, the, you know, the good things that as they come. But well, we're not happy. Like it's just well, as far it's as so NXT, tit for tat. bring up the NXT stuff. As far as like the dark match stuff, that's not going to even be televised. Yeah. Like, why you have your own network, you can literally do whatever you want. And then they said that for them to, you know, go ahead and you know air what? Starcade, it wouldn't be worth it. It Yo, wouldn't the bring fuck? them any more. It wouldn't bring them any more subscribers. It wouldn't do anything to benefit for them. And the costs of airing that house show would be, you know, Can far you outweigh the benefit. Can you explain to me what the cost of this, how the the mechanics, how the fucking logistics of this work? I mean... Yeah, because they'd have can, to go ahead and bring in a camera crew. And, I am you know, broadcasting on my... So the camera crew is that much money? Hire some I, local schmucks. That's what doesn't schmucks. make sense to me. What? It sounds like bullshit, but that's why they're saying they're not going to televise Starcade on the network. It sounds like bullshit. Hire some local schmuck bags to come in and record the fucking show. Hire well, me. You, you only need the hard cam and like one up close. It, even you don't yes, need much. Even if you just had the hard cam, just for the fuck of it, to stream something. Like, do something. Why? Get one camera and a fucking... It's already... Everything goes to the PA. You're all set. And here's you know how thing. you know the, the the jumbotron that's at the top. You know the, the, you can see everything. They already have cameras in arenas, even when they're not televised. All most house shows is, house shows, excuse me, have cameras, so this way the people that are up top can see what's going on in the fucking ring. So and of course they're going to record it anyways in case something does big, you know, go down. But there's so many good matches announced for that. Why why the fuck would they not air it on the network? That's what you're paying for. I'm thinking about going to Starcade. Myself. That would be incredible. I'm thinking it's about going Carolina, and covering right? it. It's in rally. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that I'm thinking would about be... going and covering it. I mean, Why not? Weren't, weren't the Rhodes brothers supposed to team up there as well? Isn't that what was, was being petitioned? Well, they wanted that to happen. I don't... Well, it ain't happening now because Jeff Hardy's I, out. Neither, neither, one of them are, neither one of them are going, are they? Neither one I'm of them. I'm not sure. I mean, I got news for, for Cody Rhodes... Uh, in a little bit. But here's as the well, thing: so. Why not? Like with NXT, with that with that match that's on the dark match with uh, 
Gargano and stuff. Why not just why not just air why not make the network free for that match? Like why yeah, not make it or, so or somebody you, can like you can watch that match free. And then or do what like, they do on YouTube where they have, you know, the the, the pre show and then the pay per view you have too. to watch it on the network. That's fine too. Go live on YouTube even but even even the network. Be like, it's free to watch the network right now for thirty minutes and then you, like if somebody doesn't have the network can click on it and then it works and like they can watch it and then like all right, we're gonna be going blank. Make sure to order the network now so you can catch the rest of the show. You know, or order the network now or get the free month now. Hit the button to get free month. You know, something. Do something. Why not? Why wouldn't you why wouldn't you air that match? I don't under and, and you know, we don't criticize NXT a lot, so and it feels like more of a WWE issue than an NXT problem because I would think that NXT would want to show this. The the triple yeah, H. Yeah, I mean these... Gargano versus, you know, the Bruiserweight is that's a fucking instant classic. Or are they just it sounds like they're just they're literally just doing this to sell local tickets. Yeah, that's that's exactly how it feels. But for them to say, oh, we, we wouldn't benefit from it financially, you know, it wouldn't help us increase subscribers, and it just sounds like such a blasé, bullshit, robotic answer that yeah. it's insulting. By the way, I tried to watch 30 for 30 for Ric Flair, and at night on my, my cable box, it said, in 10 minutes, it's coming on at 2 in the morning. And I was like, oh, my God, holy fuck, I was about to go to bed, but I'm going to stay up, I'm going to tape it. And I hit the DVR record, and I laid down, get ready to watch it, 4 minutes, 3 minutes, 2 minutes. And then some fucking cocksucker fishing came on. And I was like, it says See, 30 for 30. I thought my DVR fucked up because of everything that happened last night. I had the same no. thing happen. It recorded that stupid fucking other program. Yeah, that guy, it was like fishing with an NBA star, and I was like, what the Yeah, see, I thought the DVR just fucked up because I had all the Comcast problems all night and half the day today. Yeah, it, was, it, it wasn't that. It, I don't think. I, but either way, I was pissed off, man, because I thought I was going to be able to see it. So I still have not seen it yet. I tr yeah, I, I haven't gotten to see it either. A lot of people, Liz said it was excellent. It's so not on their DVR. How am I supposed to watch it? It's not even. Yeah, it's, it's not on demand yet either. So it's bullshit. Somebody said it was supposed to be. Fucking but, bullshit. Um, yeah, so I have these rules pulled up so I can get rid of these. So right. how it's going to work for the actual war game side-by-side, -side, you know, cage match. Uh, three, the three-member team. So we have Sanity, the Undisputed Era, and the Authors of Pain uh, with Roderick Strong. Um, they're going to fight inside the steel cage that surrounds two rings. All three teams will be contained inside separate shark cages by the ramp. So one member from each team will be chosen by their squad to start the match. They're going to have three guys in the ring to start. After five minutes, the remaining members from one team, so just one team, will be released from their shark cage and allowed to enter the match. Then three minutes goes by. The second team gets to have their two members come in. And then another three-minute period, and the finals team uh, two members get to come in as well. So once all three teams have entered the War Games match, then a victory can be attained via pinfall or submission. Damn. So you're literally going to have three guys start, then you're going to have one team come in, the second team come in three minutes later, and then three minutes following that, you know, you're going to have... So the numbers game is really odd there. That's the thing. Um, the uh, the whole... Okay, so the, after the first period, who gets the coin, coin toss? Because there's usually a coin toss, and that team gets the advantage. Who gets the yeah, advantage? Yeah, so that's what I'm, I'm not understanding, because they don't specify that here at all. Yeah, this is weird. They're, I, I don't understand what it means. Now. Unless, unless they're going to do a coin toss and not, and, and not say it, you know? Well, that might be it, too, but it, it basically... Well, I don't even think they toss the coin at this point. I think it's all you know predetermined, obviously, but it's, it's like a... a more refined version of the elimination chamber, just with tag teams. So yeah, they're gonna toss the salad to see who fucking gets it. I mean, it's similar to what they did in '98, but not like it's kind of using both match, like from '98 and then and then the original War Games. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it, I, I I looked at the rules earlier, and to be honest, my head wanted to explode. I was like, you know what? I don't fucking know. Well, I'll yeah, I mean, it. it's kind of fucked. So now you know, you figure you can get all of Sanity in there. You know, and then you have one from Authors of Pain and one from Undisputed. Uh, so, obviously, in the numbers games, they're going to kick their ass the whole time. Then another team comes in for it. I don't know. I'd, I'd rather see, like, you know, three guys bring in three more, you know, one from each team, then bring in the final three. I'd love to see Nikki Cross just sneak her way in there and do something just crazy. <laughs> That'd be cool. I still hope she but, walks away with the title. I, I wanna, why don't they just start off with, like, two, like, one-on-one -on -one and then alternate that way? Or, do, or if they do, like, the Rumble where it's all random and all that stuff. Maybe that's what they're going to do. Who knows? But I'm looking forward to War Games. It's going to be the better show. And I'm curious to see how they're going to do the camera angles. It's the guy that's like, yeah, I know. Thank God they're for, thank God for War Games. Or this, 
I would be fucking depressed about this weekend if it wasn't for war games. Mm. Yeah, and then imagine Triple H. Imagine they do the Royal Rumble, right? And then you think they're gonna do the uh, one up NXT. It's like Triple H is like, now we're gonna do World War Three. We're gonna have three rings in the arena this this time. <laughs> imagine that shit happening. <laughs> that would be crazy. I want to see blood. That's all I know. I'm a sick fuck. I want to see some blood in this war games. It can't be well, war games. Well, it's Triple H, so he might actually do it, you know? Yeah, period blood everywhere. Mm, that's what I want. Oh, yeah, period <laughs> blood would even be better. Fuck the regular blood. I want period blood. Hey, let's go to the phone calls again. The phone lines are fucking filled. Uh, 812, I'll fill your mother. 812, what's up? Uh, yeah, I had heard something between me and a coworker was talking about Jinder Mahal dropping the title. Hallelujah. And my coworker... My coworker was telling me that Jinder had dropped the title because he needed some kind of surgery. That's why Styles got it. Oh yeah, well I mean, about that? a lot of people were talking about that he had a shoulder issue. But um, in a video on my main channel on YouTube.com/slash Joe Cronin Show, my main wrestling channel today, I made a video uh, talking about Jinder's Instagram post. So thanks for the call eight one two. Uh, but yeah, yeah, the, the Instagram post was was a bit odd. You know, he said AJ Styles was the better man for one night. Six months, I held the championship, defended it countless times all over the world. I will one day raise the title again to my haters and wrestling insiders. In quotes, this was not an experiment. I am not injured. I have not violated the wellness policy. So keep throwing shade my way. It only motivates me. Yeah, and this is why you very gotta, interesting. This is why you got to be subbed to my other channel, man. Uh, I, I made a whole video on this today. He basically said here, I'm not injured. There's no injury. There's no wellness violation. I'm not an experiment. It's not an experiment, which is funny because that's what JD always calls him. Wonder if you heard his show. And um, you know, he just got he just basically went off. A very confident posting by Jinder that we went over and But here's the thing, he was wearing the the what is it, Kinesio tape on his shoulder recently. He was seen with it uh in the gym and outside of the tour. So, well, you know, like, like the stuff I mean, that Cesaro has on his arm and Bailey. That doesn't mean and that's usually for injuries. So but he's saying he's not injured. So, I mean, if you if you if he had to have surgery or anything like that, I mean, we could then you could call him a big fat liar because of this post. You know, what I mean, yeah, I mean, a giant so liar. We'll see what happens. But oh. I'm mean, talking about injury. Sin Cara has an update. Apparently, he avoided serious injury himself. Uh, Dave Meltzer stated that Sin Cara suffered uh the injury and it wasn't uh, considered to be serious. Really? That fucking... Everybody thought he was out forever after that. Yeah. Uh, he'll be back in action early this week. Wow. So them saying so, next week Sin Cara wasn't a lie. Yeah. No. That wow. Was, uh, that was in fact true. Who so it says right here. Gumby. Injured superstar cleared to return. What uh, the shit? Mm-hmm. Dude, his... Like, he's Gumby. Yeah. Hunico uh, went ahead and... Uh, the fuck? He, you know, has suffered previous injuries, but they said he was okay to return. That's unbelievable. Give it hell, yeah. Yeah, speaking of unbelievable, we had Samoa Joe. Oh, we got donations. Uh, one last Broken question Lion from China. Broken Lion. Um, since Roman is not a part of Survivor Series match, will they have him return at the Rumble as a surprise entrance? That's what it feels no. like. Uh, the plan is now actually. Broken line, great point. Uh, Roman Reigns, <laughs> let me let me see if I can get this whole thing, because that's how it started off today. That that person that I was blocked by uh, went ahead and she tweeted Big E. Uh, let's see if I can pull it up here, because I'm blocked by them on Twitter for talking about their precious Roman Reigns. Here we go. Wait, what? she said, "Oh, what's oh, that? Just some random person blocked you, or?" Yeah, I, I'm apparently blocked by a good good portion of the Roman fans. So oh, well, she said, them. oh, Big E, Xavier Woods, and Kofi, you have no idea what you have did on Monday. The big dog is coming to get you. Man, these fucking casual kids are fucking retards. So Big E says, chill, lady. He's only about 250, talking about pounds. They should call him the medium dog. No, nah, the mild dog. They should definitely call him the mild dog. And then, of course, Roman responds, actually, I'm closer to 275. I'm also six inches taller than big, but not that tall, E. Saying that his dick oh. is bigger. Ha, ha, ha. Oh. Ha, 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 ha. So Roman, now he's, yeah. So wait a minute. Some tweet that some kid posted, Roman responded in the thread with the, that his dick is huge? 
Yeah, so you know, <laughs> he responded to Big E saying, I'm actually closer to 275. I'm also six inches taller than Big, in quotes, but not that tall, in quotes again, E. You know, so. Oh. oh. <laughs> and, and, and I, you know, nod in a wink. And, and, and I. Uh, oh he, the thing is now, so now we're, they're, they're basically building via Twitter the New Day versus the Shield. Yeah, which is what we sense. talked about on SmackDown's review last night. So, so yeah, so he's not going to be a surprise entrance because that's going to happen before that. Yeah, that'll ha- that's that's you know that can even happen nineteenth. At, at what what's the pay per view? Uh, Survivor Series. Wait, you think that that wait the Ro- the Shield's going to happen against New Day at Survivor Series? Another tag team match expected for Survivor Series. Oh Roman God. Reigns teases big match. The two great factions are set to do battle. See, they want the New Day and the Shield to face off. The reason is they weren't sure if Roman was going to be able to return or not. Right. So they didn't put him into the uh, five-man Survivor Series match, and they started to write the whole Jason Jordan turning heel possibly or John Cena getting involved angle with that. Now John's been announced, so that came to fruition. So what are they going to do with the Shield if Roman's back? They need to have Roman do something. They can't let him sit out and miss a pay-per-view, God forbid. So unfortunately, Dean and Seth have to lose the tag titles so that they can do a match, uh, you know, versus the New Day. So that's why Cesaro and Sheamus beat them for the tag titles, and that's why New Day cost them the titles. All because Roman Reigns needs a match. Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, I mean, you got to have Roman have a match. I mean, they're jerking off for that. Exactly. So, I mean, it, it it's ridiculous, but that's why I said, when you look at the landscape and how much was affected and changed this week, it, it, it's fucking unfathomable it's it's impossible to, to, to like truly grasp and comprehend how much how much happened in just two days in london well, you know you back. figure the bar took the tag titles all because roman's returning and needs to have a match you got aj taking over you know it, it's just john cena's filling in now and plans well, are changing you know, they, left and right they also probably didn't want to seem like the shield was better than new day they wanted to keep it more an even playing field the new day exactly. comes in with yeah if the shield comes in with tag team titles and the new day comes in with nothing it's they wanted of, to make it a level playing field. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm sure that's maybe part of it. Uh, let's go back to the donation, see what you guys have to say. Hey, guys. Oh, God. Did you see oh, Monday God. Night War tonight? War was great. I especially went with Roman Reigns went crazy and pulled out his penis. I like Roman <laughs> Reigns' penis. Oh, my, my God. My name is Squire. <laughs> it's still funny. Joe and Jake, what is going on? What I'm sorry that? if this isn't wrestling related, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. but I started dating this new girl and today she told me she's transgender. <laughs> I wish I was lying. So I'm drunk as fuck of this <laughs> bottle scotch and evaluating my shitty life. Sad face. Oh, uh, Vito, I'm sorry, Vito. Vito, go get Vito. laid. Fuck it. Just go out there. Yeah, and I mean, kill there, is, there is a couple yeah. of functioning holes. So. Thank you, V2 of Doom, Vito. I, ho- <laughs> I love you, Vito. Uh, V2 of Doom, I appreciate that. Triple Gaming says, hey, Joe and Jake, I don't know what it is, but for some reason I'm looking forward to what Paul Heyman has to say about AJ facing Brock. And I thought Cena was a free agent, but all of a sudden he's competing for SmackDown. Uh, I'm, conf- I'm confessed, he says. I think he means confused. Triple gaming, thank so. you. Yeah, I mean everybody's confessed right now. You know? Kevin Spacey just has to confess. Or Charlie Sheen, maybe. <laughs> Both of them. Hey boy. Winning. Uh thank yeah, you. Yeah, I really want to hear, you know, the, the promo that gets cut. Well, so we'll see what happens. It's interesting. Matthew, thanks for subbing, man. Uh it's all it's interesting because of how he just talked people up for a while. First he went with, you know, my client is a beast and he's a monster who's going to destroy you. Then he went with, like, wow, you know, we respect this person so much. Then he pulled the we don't respect this person card. Now what's going to happen? And here comes Brock Lesnar. Here he comes right now. Exactly nine that's bucks still functioning for a fuck. Someone donated nine. I'm getting hard. I got nine inches inside of your wife. Nine bucks. I'm shooting my seam into the ceiling. I'm coming and my balls have to blue. Nine bucks. Suck my dick. Hey, President Joe, Vice President Jake, and First Lady Leah. 
Salute! I'm a long-time listener, first-time donator. Hashtag Sylvester Niffles Meow. Fuck yeah, African-American rocker. Thank you for the $9 and welcome. And thank you for donating uh, for the first time and uh, supporting the show like you just did with that $9 donation. We have Pyro once again. We have Pyro once again, all because of you. And semen through the ceiling, being shot. Yeah. African-American rocker. Uh, Jack, thank you for subbing to the channel. Pour a beer for Jack, everybody, because he just subscribed. Yeah, you forgot his last name, Hoff. Jack Mehoff. Well, his name was Jack U, so Jack Uhoff. Jack Uhoff. <laughs> Give it a hell yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I found it weird that Samoa Joe filled in. Alexa, sweet ass, donates 316. Alexa, Ooh. sweet ass, and it is oh, so sweet. Uh, does Charlotte win women's title Tuesday and we get Charlotte versus Alexa? I'd be more interested in that. Plus, I think they want to keep Charlotte and Asuka apart to WrestleMania. Uh Maybe that could be what happens. I don't think it matters, Natty or her, because it's like a throwaway match, sort of, in a way, even though they're both the women's champion facing off against each other at Survivor Series. Um, Super you're going to find a stay away from it. Please bench the show, Turd Nugget Harsing Shell. What? Cabretti Gaming Network, thanks for the $2. What? Who's her? Why I thought someone, I already took care of it. Why is someone harassing somebody? What? Someone's yeah. harassing Shell? Yeah, people being idiots in the chat. We oh, got it. The fucking chat trying to make it, uh, trying to, <laughs> trying to get themselves <laughs> they're, over. They're policing themselves. Cabretti, what's up, man? Thanks for the two dollars super chat, Cabretti. Dude, I will straight up rape, fucking kill anybody who fucking fucks with Shell. Absolutely. I swear to God. I don't know what he's talking about though, but the fucking mods will get that shit. The mods will take care of that shit, motherfuckers. Can you dig it, Saga? What is the WWE going to do about their fucking announce team? It's just like, the, like, what a move. I'm Michael Cole, and I'm a robot. And then Corey Graves goes, Cole, you're obviously a moron, Cole. Can you <laughs> dig it, Saga? Like, that's the announce team. Like, basically all in a nutshell. Like, Corey Graves is the best they have, but... It's like, yeah, and Corey makes some, you know, snide remark, and then they go from there, and it just flounders and fumbles. The fucking... <laughs> no, it's like Ryback on commentary, you know? Oh, God. Imagine Ryback on commentary. <laughs> Dude, this is the sound. When Cabretti Gaming just donated that money and, and told everybody about the guy that they wanted to attack, this was what the chat room sounded like after that happened. People freaking out. Wow, it got loud in the chat room. Man, what did this guy do? <laughs> what did the, this guy do? Well, let me tell you, I stepped up. I stepped up big time. My brother Stevie... My brother Stevie, he told me how to be a wrestler. I basically, it was his dream first, and then I did what my brother told me how to do, and then I became a star. And then my, the hell, yeah. my brother went nowhere, but I didn't. I became the five-time, five-time. Sounds like Stone Cold Steve Austin. V2 of Doom, I'm sorry if I go got p so personal in my donations as of late. I can't catch a break. Says V2 of Doom Vito. What do you have to apologize for, bud? You don't have to apologize for anything. Why that is Vito some great apologizing? Quality content right there. Yeah, man, that was funny. Wasn't it funny? And even though, even though it's true, it it, <laughs> it was funny. All you could do sometimes is sit back and laugh when when Wait, shit doesn't go say? your way. I don't get it. Like, was he was he really? He was, didn't he say something about banging a chick? No, he said that the the interest that he was speaking to told him that they were transgender. Oh, that was real. Yeah, that was real. That's why I said there's still some functioning holes. <laughs> I thought so. he was fucking joking. No. Oh god. No, he was he was serious. Hey man, sometimes I almost banged a guy or girl once. Seriously. It happens. Sometimes they look good and you're like, damn. And then it's like, well, that's my brother. 
He just likes to dress <laughs> up, and you're like, oh, what? Cosmetic surgery is uh, pretty impeccable nowadays. Hey, can you hear this, Jake? Here we go. Half black, son. Oh, damn it. I played Half Black Sun. Anyway, the phone lines are back open. 339-226-6610. Call the show. And we'll take your phone calls. The phone calls actually died. What the fuck is going on? Where is everybody? Yeah, I don't know. We, we had... Uh, there was like a lot know. of people calling us and they were, couldn't get through. I well, Phone lines are opened up now, man. We got open lines now. For, Skype complete. fucking flooded itself. We legit have open lines. Like That doesn't happen often. So if you call right now... The first thing I see call, I'm going to take the phone call. Any any other news? Uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this. Stephen Amell, uh, the one that plays Oliver Queen, a.k.a. the Green Arrow, is set to appear at uh, Ring of Honor Survival of the Fittest event. He's going to be coming in with the Bullet Club. Uh, Ring of Honor was trying to keep it a secret, but they said the cat's out of the bag. Stephen Amell will be a special guest at Survival of the Fittest in San Antonio. Details to come soon. Uh, it, I don't know if you remember, but he, was, uh, he faced... Uh, Cody Rhodes at Stardust back at Survivor Series a few years back. Remember he teamed up with Neville? Yeah, yeah, I remember and that. And he did a great job in that match. I was I was impressed by, you know, he treated it with Shit. respect. He didn't come in and act like an asshole. Yeah, I, uh, I So Cody Rhodes happened. tweeted out, you know, we've got surprises. And the Young Bucks said, told you we had some surprises for San Antonio. Yeah, so, I, I saw that. It was awesome. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really excited. I'm, I'm a huge fan of his. I, I watch some of his live streams on Facebook, and he's very down to earth. What? You, know. you loser. <laughs> you want no really like you're watching Stephen Amell's Facebook live things? Yeah, he goes live and uh shows like behind the scenes things for Arrow and uh-huh. teases, you know, stuff for the season. So you're a homo. I like the show a lot. You're a homo. No, hey, all right, let me we got a lot of like a it. lot of calls calling in right now. A lot of people on the Oh, uh, now we're flooding the line. Uh let me um we got to take people in order. So when I if I put you on on the line tonight, guys, just don't say anything until I introduce you. Just stay on the line, hang there, try to be quiet, try to be muted, try to mute yourself. Shut and then the I'll, fuck I'll, up. Yeah, shut the fuck up. And then you won't have to uh, wait and keep calling over and over again. I'll just put you on. But when I put you on, just make sure you mute yourself or you'll just get hung up on. Uh, first person we're going to talk to is 210. Area code 210. What's up? You're on the show. Take your uh, pants off. What's up, Joe? It's ADTR. Oh, ADTR, man. What's up? How you been? I've been good, relaxing, watching our show. You've been what? Uh, I'm watching the show. Oh, cool. Oh, well, yeah, I would, I would hope so. Sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> like Jer- y'all hear Jericho versus Omega, Wrestle Kingdom 12? I, I want to watch it. it. It looks good, but did WWE know about this or no? I mean, like, I mean, he's not Well, they know about contract, it now. But... They know about it now. He's not under contract yeah. with anybody, so. Wrestle Kingdom 12, I baby. It's uh, I, I haven't missed a Wrestle Kingdom in the last four years, and uh, every year it's like something else makes me want to watch it. And so this is definitely good hype well, for I, them. Well, I have to, I have, to, I have not even seen a Wrestle Kingdom pay per view, but yeah, Wrestle Kingdom pay per view. Dude, so I'll I don't tell know you how what. To watch it though. Well, a couple of years ago, Jr. called the thing, and like that was really a big hype. That was uh, he called what was it Styles versus Nakamura? I think. Yeah. It was so, huge. Mm-hmm. Dude, that was a great Wrestle Kingdom. Wrestle Kingdom 9, maybe it was, or 10? Uh, I don't remember I think now. it was 9. I saw it on YouTube. I it like how you know that. But you, yeah, you haven't watched it, but you know that. That's great. No, but dude, you got to watch it. Um, You can order it through the Fight. Maybe the Fight Network has it now, or the the New Japan website. Uh, There might be a couple other ways to watch it that I'm not familiar with that's going to be this come out this year. I don't know. They really should find a way to have it some other way that's easier for everybody, but... The fight network, yeah. the fight app might have it. I'll talk to those guys over there. They'll they'll tell me about it. It was ten, it. by the way. It was ten. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah cool. knock well, more. ADTR man. Hey, thanks for all the donations and support and for being here. I'm gonna move on real quick. But uh, anything else you want to uh, say? Uh, uh, yeah, I was gonna ask one more thing because why John Cena? Because I've been thinking about it all week. It would have been cool. I know they weren't gonna they weren't doing it. It would have been cool if Daniel Bryan would have been the fifth member. I know they're not going to let him wrestle, but it would have been awesome if Daniel Bryan was the fifth member. Yeah, it would be awesome if uh, fucking Brett the Hitman Hart could come back too. But you know, <laughs> I mean, seriously, like he's never going to he's not going to wrestle in the WWE. They're fucking crazy. They they won't let Daniel Bryan wrestle. You know, and we talked to that guy who worked in WWE that told us all about that. Uh, let's move to the next caller. We'll just put people on how they called in in line. Uh, I think the next person was D Wells. Yo, D Wells, what's up, D Wells? What's up, Joe? 
What you doing, man? What's up, motherfucker? I love you, man. What's up, man? What do you got? What's going on? Not much, guys, man. Um, it's been a while. I, had, I haven't called you all the show since um, the last time I talked to you. It's like since September uh, when oh, I called you that at the lottery beat. <laughs> so it's been a while. So. <laughs> Yo, what's that? Uh, <laughs> Some guy just fucking fuck, and then he hung up. Uh, yeah, but so yeah, what's I've been fine. I've been doing all right. How you been doing? Last time I talked to you was uh, I was yelling at you. I think on Ken's show or something. I don't know. What's up? Yeah, with and he realized it's been yeah. that long since you cut Joe off. Yeah. right? that was yeah, fucking yeah, hilarious. Yeah, it hasn't been that long. So. Yo, that was hilarious. No, but what? So what do you uh, what are you thinking about here? Give me something good. All right. Well, well, you gotta talk about um. The AJ Styles and Jenna Mahal match from last night. I thought that well, I thought that match was good, but kind of kind of pissed me and everybody off there. I wish they hadn't gone Sparta and hadn't given it away already. I mean, yeah, I'm exactly. Okay Styles win the title, but it's weird why they want to go Sparta the match and give it away because I understand it's in the UK and overseas, but you know this shit is just like not have tape and just go live instead. But I don't know. Those just had no idea what they're doing. Just the same thing they did for uh, for the Raw Tag Talk from Raw the, for Monday Night. Same same thing. That I mean, this shit is just like do it live and not do it on tape. But I guess they didn't, they didn't know what they were doing. So all right, well uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, D Wells, I love you, bro. Thanks for calling. D Wells is a big time man. Uh, Jake, can you translate what the fuck he just said? <laughs> well, you just want to go ahead and you want to say that he really liked the rest of the show. I have uh, no Styles idea what he. Out. I really don't know what he. I I'm not kidding. I'm, I don't know what he just said. Uh, he was happy that AJ won. He wished it wasn't spoiled. So okay. we we okay. all had hoped uh, WWE just went ahead and said fuck it, we're doing it live. Yeah, it really sucks that they spoiled that. I think that was just dumb. <laughs> Well, um, I think it was a little down too, but I'm gonna go ahead and I say you know, say you know, age of style, good man, you take the title. That's basically what I heard. Nine two nine, you're live <laughs> on out of nowhere. What's up? Hey Joe, it's Ahmed. What is it? Who is it? It's Ahmed Joe from oh, Egypt. Oh Ahmed. shit! shit what's what's up, on? Ahmed? Um, hey Jake, it's my first time, man. I can't believe it. Hey, wait yeah, a minute, lady Ahmed. Got I, I know this is bizarre, but I have to ask you this because, like, I got this. I was doing news stories the other day. And there was a news yeah. story. There's a news story in Egypt that, that that some chick, some woman from like the UK, was like detained there because she like took prescription medication. Have you heard anything about that over there? No, bro. But actually, right now I'm in Brooklyn, New York, man. I'm. I mean, I'm half Egyptian, half American. So right now in Brooklyn, New York. Oh, okay. I thought you maybe were over but in I'm Egypt going now. Back. I'm going back to Egypt like next week or something. So you're, you're a huge fan, Joe. so you're on some kind of list, right? No, I'm just kidding. No, uh, but so <laughs> <laughs> no, I just stay away from Times Square. You're good, Joe. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Man, Where do you live again? Guys. No, I uh, I, had, I live in Brooklyn right now. I had a lot of friends um, when I went to when I was in high school. Uh, not a lot, but I mean, I had a couple of friends from high school. Uh, they did the same thing. Have you thing. ever been to Egypt? I haven't been there. I want. I wanted to go. Now people are telling me I shouldn't go, but like. Why? Why shouldn't I go Bro, there? like, no, no, the news are fucked up, man. But everything is cool. But you know, it's like sometimes crazy. But nothing, nothing more than the usual. You know, like it's like anywhere nothing... basically. Like it's like you know, it's just like America. Like you go to the wrong place, yeah, something wrong it's thing like happens. America, like yeah, but you know, different cultures and shit. But it's I want to go, like, dude, because problem. like I'm like seriously, like I don't really want to go right now because I'm involved with my whole family and stuff. But like. You know, I love other cultures and shit. Like, I love the idea of Egypt. I'd love to see all that stuff, but I don't want to go anywhere because I don't want to fly right now. And... I mean, we have a lot of shit to go, man. I mean, you you like it, but we have a lot of places to go there. Yeah. I, 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 but... All the people that I went to school with from Egypt were cool. They did the same thing as you. They went. They were still going back and forth between the U.S. and uh, and Egypt. And then somebody... Yeah, it's because my dad is here, and I have to go back for my, my, my dad is my, and my mom is in Egypt, so, you know... I'm uh, half and half, always come back and forth. Yeah. What's it like when you go? I know this isn't wrestling, but like, what, I'm curious about it. We'll talk, you know what? Call me on Monetize This on Friday night. We'll talk about it Friday night if you're, well, I don't know if you're available then, but. Yeah, man, I, I hope. Can I can I call on Monetize This? Yeah, call on Friday night. We'll talk about it. I'd love to talk about it. But what do you have for wrestling? Yeah, a lot of questions to ask you about overseas stuff. So yeah, I great. love that shit. Call, but uh, what do you got tonight? What's up with wrestling? Uh, I want to ask you about. Don't you think that they're ruining like the surprise returns, even though like John Cena's like gonna be on the Survivor Series team, but now they just ruined the like the surprise entrance or if anybody's coming back, they just WWE.com uh, major breaking news: John Cena <laughs> on the team. 
Yeah, you know, you know like, why? They don't do the surprise returns anymore. Because right now, th- because they're in such a bad time, like they're worried that they're not going to have enough ticket sales, and that they're not. They're gonna... so desperate. Yeah, they need to they release have the to info let these now. Colonels out. You know that they're in trouble because they have they they don't want to even say who's the fifth member going to meet be. They can't even go with that to try to sell the, some of this stuff. They have to tell you Cena will be there, kids, so all the Cena fans yeah. can show up. They want all the all these different wrestlers fans that can show up. They want all hands on deck to um yeah sell this pay per view. And I'm sure the ticket exactly. sales, I'm sure the tickets yeah, ticket prices for Survivor just, Series are up higher than wanna, other ones. Ticket sales went up twenty five percent. I, I don't know, man, the app. And fuck Jason Jordan, man. I don't even remember his name. I swear to God, I can't even remember his name. Like, do you remember that like, Jason's going to be on the team? I I forgot his name. But man, I loved him, too. He would have ruined Joe. him. I'm a huge fan. Jake, Justin, Poop JD. But, yeah, he's a cool guy, but whatever. <laughs> fuck his cats. Uh, have a good night, guys. And uh, I'll be calling a monetized bit. And awesome. thank you so much, man. I appreciate your show. Love you, Jake. Love you, Joe. And keep up the good work, man. Keep All right, up hey, the good safe work, travels. Man. Thank you, man. Yeah, have a good you travel. Too. Thank it's you, a man. Big drive. You too. It's a big flight. Big big drive. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, big flight. I'm gonna drive back to Egypt. <laughs> I was wondering what's up because he's in America. It's like, but we do. We actually we do have listeners in Egypt that are in Egypt only. So oh yeah, I mean, absolutely. Shout out to everybody a lot over of there. These listeners. Vito is trying to call in as well. Vito's so. on the phone right now. What's up, Vito? Oh, look at that. Oh, Tiny. he hung up now. Well, what the fuck? I had him I right. Gave him a perfect in. What a segue! And now he lost his spot because now six one five is on the phone. What's up, six one five? Hey, Joe. What's up? Hey, man. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. This is my fourth time calling, I think. Oh, awesome. Uno, dos, yeah, tres, I was cuatro. the guy that said I'll come in your mouth. Oh God, <laughs> yeah, that was great. I, well, not really, but cuatro. <laughs> yeah, that that was hey, a funny sound clip. Hey, 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 a fucking mother. Uh, I don't Why know. Why don't you, if you tweet that to Charlie Sheen, try to find out for us if it's legit. Tweet that same thing. All bit. right, man, I will. See if he'll take the bait. But no, what's, <laughs> what's up with you? Oh, uh, man, I'm just chilling tonight, man. I was about to live stream myself, but I saw that you were live, so I was like, fuck it, I'm going to watch you. I did the same thing the other night. I was going to go live, and then somebody, I forget who it was now. Who the fuck was it? Somebody was live, and then I was like, Ah, forget it. I'm just gonna watch their stream, and I don't remember who it was, but oh well. I don't know. I'm, Vito, I took yeah. your call again. Well, that would be important. What the fuck? I took Vito's call again, and it didn't work. Like I don't know what is going on with Vito's thing. But anyway, what do you got, man? Uh, what, what do you want to talk about? Uh, what are your thoughts on AJ winning the title? I know I've, I know you've said it before. I just fuck. I don't know. Shit. Yeah, man. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll shit on you. Right. No, but uh, yeah, you got to watch the. Oh um, shit! Please. <laughs> this weird fetish. There it is. <laughs> Um, I think Skype is freaking out on me right now because uh, Vito's call. All right, thanks for the call, man. But, uh, you know, I, I think that I love that AJ won, but it comes with a precaution of just, like, I know what's coming. I know it's it doesn't seem right. It seems like they're going to go in some other like, – Jinder's going to get it back eventually maybe. You know, they had set him up with Brock Lesnar, but now that's not happening. And I'm and I'm really upset that it wasn't live, that we all didn't see it live and be surprised by it. I can't believe that he spoiled it everywhere for us. Um, but I mean, I'm happy. I love AJ, and I think he he looks great with that title. Like he feels like the champion all the time to me, and I love it. Um, Eight six zero. What's up? Oh, calling. They Hartford. freaked out. Hangs up. They freaked out. Let's try the next caller. The phone lines are now. The phone lines are hot. Uh, now two, it's kicking. Two ten is on the phone. Two ten. What's up? Yeah, this is AJ Moore. AJ Moore. No, what do you got, man? What's AJ up? AJ Moore. Shit, man, what do you think about this uh, AJ Styles and Brock Lesnar crap? I know you said some shit about it, but they're both, what, New Japan title winners? Like, let's... Only guys in WWE, WWE that's won them, both. I think they're going to build up that angle. Let's say that Brock Lesnar gives a shit. Because if Brock right? Lesnar... Right, that's what I said, too. That's what I said, too. I don't think Brock... I bet you Brock was like, you know, cooking some eggs. Sable's over there half naked. He's like, she's like, guess what, honey? I think you have to find another vanilla midget. <laughs> and he was like, <laughs> and he was like, you know, skinning, skinning, skinning his fucking deer or whatever. And he was just like, shit. That's fucking hilarious, dude. I can, I'm like, pitch as you brought that up. I'm picturing it in my head. They're in this shitty cabin up there in fucking Saskatchewan. Uh, no. But like nowhere. 
He's like, I, I, hey, honey, I got to fight another midget, the vanilla midget. No, I, I think it might be the opposite, though. I really think that he might actually really like AJ, and maybe we'll get a real match. But we know that he didn't give a fuck about Dean Ambrose because at yeah, WrestleMania, no, he, no shit. he was like, fuck you. I mean, you, you. You mean, you know he didn't give a fuck about anything until the, the check cleared. Well, so, I don't yeah, know what exactly. it is, but it's. It, I mean, maybe he'll give a shit about this. I mean, maybe. Maybe. Uh, but if he doesn't, maybe. dude, if, if he doesn't help, if he doesn't have a match with AJ Styles, that's like 15 minutes long or something. I mean, maybe they'll be fuckery. Now, now, who do you think's writing this? Who do you think's creative more on this? Who's Vince. got the, the Vince. upper hand? Vince. Raw or SmackDown? Oh, Vince, who's yeah. writing it? Um, I mean, I would say whoever has Brock. Yeah. So Raw has the upper hand because, you know, if you put the title on AJ and he loses, well, he still got the title. You know, they figure that, yeah, and I mean, same thing yeah. with Brock, but, dude, I mean, I can't believe that, again, this is another one of those situations where I, I, I can't see either one getting the pin. I could def I, I feel like something weird's going to happen still, and, and Cena's not the referee now. I wonder if somebody else will end up being the referee. I, that's what I was saying. I was like, there's got to be an interference. They, you know, both count out. I don't know. Um, you, but they can't end the show like I because you know what if they end the show with like a double count out the fans are gonna be pissed. Yeah, yeah or, or what if time if time runs out? Are supposed to end in no, because the time will never well. run out. Shield and no, because the time couldn't run out because they could never get that far with Lesnar. Yeah, plus this whole <laughs> night screams honestly screams of fucky finishes. Like yeah. honestly, because you're having champion versus champion. It's going to be so hard for them to to really, you know, like, oh, who wins this? Who wins here? I mean, it, it's it, it. No matter what, you're devaluing one title or one show or one brand or yeah. one wrestler. So they have to be extremely careful in their decision, how they go over. You know, they can't make their other champion look weak. You know, they can't have Alexa Bliss be extremely dominant through the entire match and make it a squash match. You know, they have to they have to if, really if, go ahead and be careful. Wait, here. if yeah, I was to say, even uh, is it going to be Charlotte? It's going to be against Alexa That's or Natalia. That's what I've read going forward that, again, people didn't want to see Natalia versus Alexa Bliss. And since Shit, Charlotte, I don't think anybody wants to see that. <laughs> yeah, Charlotte. Yeah, let, let's, look at, a, let's look at the theme that they've set up. The theme that they have set up is we're going all out. So there's not going to be that maybe in the scheme of where they're building towards, Natalia versus Alexa Bliss would make more sense. But let's remember that they're going all out to try to fucking – get the buzz going for this show and to put the best possible people against each other. That's what this is about. So if, if there yeah, is exactly if, what it's going to be about, but if, who's but, no, be but listen this? to this, but listen to this, if they're going with that, then who's going to win in Charlotte next week? Woo. Yeah, oh, exactly. Shit. You think you're player country. Yeah. Alexa bliss and Charlotte have only faced each other on NXT back in 2014. But I don't recall them ever facing each other since Alexa has been on the main roster. Same here. Yeah, yeah they've I been avoiding it. At all. So that would be a, a huge marquee matchup as well. Yeah, this 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 is going to be something for me to watch. Like, I think if they if they fuck it up, you know, whatever. But you know, I'm definitely going to be interested in watching. Every let me ask you. Let me ask you this because in, because before this pay per view was a fucking piece of shit that I didn't give a fuck about <laughs> and. and but and a lot of people still feel that way. What do you think? Are you more excited now for this than you were, or you still don't give a shit? Um, I'm about halfway on the fence. I kind of give a shit. I'm like, I'm like, you know, on top of the fence. I'm looking over, you know, seeing, seeing hmm, what's what's going on over here. Would but you? I'm still on the other side of the the whole. I'm still looking forward to Wrestle Kingdom more than this crap. Oh yeah, and it's too bad too because. Don't you guys miss the days when it was like, "Hey, are you gonna spend the forty dollars to watch this or the sixty dollars to watch this?" And it's like, and it's like, th it's so laughable to think that a couple of years ago we were all sitting here wondering, we we're all watching free streams online because nobody would ever pay for this shit. Um, and back, back before then, we used to we used to hack the the cable box. Well, and, then uh, we that's, watch for free. Now you're going back to the nineties, but yeah, I remember that shit too. But. Hey, listen, thanks for the call. You're a good dude. Good good calls. I got to play some of these donations we got lined up here. You guys are funding the show. I want to say thank you for being the ones to fund the show like you guys do. You make it possible for uh, me to do these shows every day, all the news that I do, all the podcasts, the long podcasts. We have done so much content. If you haven't seen all my other content, you're out of control. I've had like five videos up on YouTube.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Make sure you sub to Joe Cronin Show. 
Uh, Patreon, something fucking crazy happened on Patreon earlier. I was doing a Q&A and fucking Dingleberry called, and uh, I kind of fucked with them a little bit. So, you know, we, we had some fun with that. Uh, we got some designs coming in uh, from from a listener of the show who's a, who's a designer of T-shirts, and uh, we're definitely going to be uh, th- doing using these on my T-shirts. These are going to be released in the coming next couple days. Uh, here's a little brief look at them right now. What do you guys think? We got right now just Cronin Club, those middle finger birds, and the facts uh, since 2006 JCS Joe Cronin Show. Uh, we're going to be getting these things going, getting them up there, and selling them soon on Teespring. They'll be available on JoeCronShow.net. Links will all be on Twitter and all over the place. couple new shirts coming in. Uh, you know, great shit from uh, the the guy who uh, designed these, which I fucking, his name is escaping me right now. Bobby did these. Bobby did these. Bobby's Pete. Thanks to Bobby P. We'll talk more to him. Um, yeah, I especially love the red one, too. That's badass. Looks nice. Looks real nice and clean. And uh, I got to shout out the new patrons because you guys, again, we got bonus six to eight hours of content over there for sure. But uh, you guys are, are beasts for jumping over there and getting all this extra bullshit. So shout out to um, Michael L. Michael L. just became a $5 patron on Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. You guys can also download the app so you can go on your phone. And all the bonus content I put up there is on audio or video. And all my podcast stuff is on audio, so you can download it right to your phone, or you can just play it and listen to it, whichever one you want to do. It's a free app, and a dollar, five bucks, ten bucks. Some people are twenty dollars. Michael just became a five dollar a month patron, and uh, over two hundred and sixty patrons now. And I can say all the things the motherfucking YouTube won't let me say. I can say anything I fucking want to over there, and I don't give a shit over there. So it's uh, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Plus, you get corrupted podcast every Saturday night, um, or Sunday, technically. And it's a lot of fun, and obviously tons of content, blah, 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 blah. And we'll see you over there. And let's play some more of these uh, live demos. Give me the hell yeah! All my plugs are out of the way. Broken Lion says 16 inches. <laughs> and he's not referring to... Uh, the size of his arm or his foot. He's talking about his dick. Uh, Broken Lion, thank you very much. Leah just gave me the weirdest fucking look. Let's take a phone call from Vito again. If we can get Vito on oh, here. Hey, what's oh, wait. All right, there we go. Now it fucking works. Uh, Vito, hang on one second. Let me get these donations out of the way, then we'll get you on here. Because every time, other time it hung up on you anyway, so we'll give it a second, make sure it doesn't hang up this time. Uh, thank you to Broken Lion for dropping Austin 316. Shit bum. And now we got Abel Sellers. Joe the Flare 30 for 30 is available for viewing through the ESPN app oh, and ESPN will re-air app? on oh, fuck. ESPN 2 tomorrow night at 7.30 and ESPN Sunday the 19th at 3.30. All right. Abel Salas Jr., thank you, man. I am going to set my DVR for that then, if it's actually fucking going to be there this time. The other night it didn't goddamn work, and I was so mad. Because I went from so happy to so angry so quickly. Abel Salas Jr., thank you for becoming a $5 shit bomb. Fucking, oh, you donated to my dick! Especially last night, because the stream, all it, the last thing you hear is, fuck! And then it ended. Yeah, because well, yeah, our streams all went down because the internet yeah, last night. Cinder might I interfere in an attack block like, and help AJ uh, win. Fuck! Pavey says, uh, yeah, Pavey says that Jinder might interrupt and attack somebody. Yeah, it's true. Thanks for the 100 bits. Yeah, plus Jinder could uh, be inserted into the match in a triple threat if he if he wanted to have his rematch. They could end up could, throwing him. That would be fucking uh, dumb. That would be bad. They could do it. Okay, Vito, what's up, Vito? Yeah, let's hear about uh, what's going on. Good evening, Vito Joe and Jake. How are you tonight? Smell your titties. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm drunk as fuck right now. I apologize. Fuck yeah. What do you have to be sorry it for? Is. I just feel bad. It sounds like you're having a rough go of it, my friend. I mean, I know things have been I'm shitty, but... I'm having a rough fucking month, but really quick, I would like to say, uh, fuck David Wells, you fucking marble mouth bitch. Oh. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> Where did the, where, where, where the he, anyways, where, where's the I don't heat? know what you got about Dave Wells, but uh, he just go ahead and try to call in. Down where's the, the what's up with the heat with David Wells? What did he do? Man, eh, nothing. He's just a bitch. <laughs> okay. I really, I really, I really have no, I really have no fucking heat with him. To be oh, uh, you love him. We all love D Wells. Not really, but yeah, not really, but okay. <laughs> but anyways. Oh wait, I can but buy anyways, the thirty uh, for thirty on YouTube. Somebody in the chat, Donnie M, just said you could buy it on YouTube. 
for two dollars and thirty cents. Fuck, I'll do it. By the way, Dave, uh, I that, guess that works. That's going away in the next couple months. YouTube is taking away the 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 purchases. You cannot buy video on on uh, YouTube anymore. They're taking that away. Just so everybody knows, I don't know. It's a random YouTube fact. It's gonna be gone soon. Yeah, they're getting rid of the video on demand service, which is weird. But okay. Yeah, the paid for one. Not enough people used it. I, it really, it didn't work. I mean, I, I put up so many videos sometimes that were paid for back in the day to try to generate income before we had donations. To try to generate income, I would put bonus videos up, and, like, nobody would fucking buy them, really. Like, five to eight people. Like, not even sometimes two people. Like, nobody nobody wants to pay for anything on YouTube. They're scrolling through. Fuck that. And besides, now we got Patreon. I put I put so much content up on Patreon. Well, not so much, but, I mean, enough content on Patreon People get it all over there. No one gives a fuck about YouTube's uh, buying shit. So d d I'm sure they're getting rid of it because it costs them a bunch of money and it's not really being successful enough for people, I assume. Uh, but yeah, Vito, what else you got, man? I'll let you go in a second, but uh, thanks for all the support, man. What, so what? what what's up? No, always. Well, I know this is not like non. I know this is not like wrestling related, but recently, oh, no. uh, I'm just drunk right now, so I'm just rambling. Uh, on Monday, I started dating this girl, really, really beautiful girl, and... Uh, as of this morning, I find out she's transgender, and this is no bullshit. And I'm fucking just floored, man. Wait a minute, did you like, bang her? No, no, not yet. No, not yet. She uh, she told me before anything went any further, so it was just like, it was just, wow. See, like, I don't know if, you know, this should have been said, like, off the bat, like, out of the gate. I mean, does it matter? I Can you I send me some so. photos of this person? Can you get some sexy photos and send them to me? I want to... Look at this. Are they are they pre op or post op? I mean, that makes a big uh, she difference is, too. Actually, she's going to be going through the surgery in like another month. Ugh. Wow. So yeah, I mean, so that's she, a so still <laughs> it's a huge to barrier to entry. Then literally, better be good at sucking dick. I'll tell <laughs> yeah. you that. I just I don't know. I just don't think I can go through with it now because I just I just don't do dick. I just don't do dick. I don't do dick. <laughs> Vito, that should be Vito's T-shirt. I don't Vito's do dick. Line of the year. You know what? Just fucking bang her. Who cares? Just take. No, that I'll ass. get head. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> Whoa, what? You got to return the favor. Though, I'm trying to figure out. This is like I can't, nasty. I can't. Come on, man. Oh, hey, uh, what was I'm the so, name? I'm sorry. What's her name now? What's up? Um, well, her name right now is. Uh, I don't want to say this, but her name is Catherine. Wow, what, kitty, kitty, kitty. That's my mother's name. Exactly. Uh, what was her name? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she no, she never told me that. We never got. To, we never got to that point. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, and that's just, that's the unfortunate part. Like, if, if you want to get real for a second, you know, she she mm -hmm. could be a great person, and I mean, well, she yeah, is. Yeah. She is. Yeah, it, it's just, but like you said, it, it, it's still essentially she is a guy. So yeah, and I, I just don't float that way, man. Yeah, I can't fault you for that. You know what? Just just yeah. stuff it in her mouth, and then tell her that you're the man. Like, you know, do that. Uh, no, Vito, I don't know, bro. Just, you know, I don't know. If I was drunk, who knows what would happen. But, yeah, no, you got to move on. It's too weird. It ain't going to work, and don't lead her. Yeah, no, you don't want to What was her name on. before? You, you can make a friend, no. you when, know? When she was still a guy. Too. When she was still a guy, what was her name? I don't know. She never, we never got to that point. Oh, we man. I, wouldn't point. it be yeah, funny? So didn't get that far. Imagine if she was like, oh, well, it was, it was Tommy. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vito, call I back up. I got this up. channel on YouTube. Thank I'm all about being positive. Call back on Friday, Vito, because I'd love to talk about this on Monetize This. I will. Thank you for taking my call, though. Thank you. Vito is a V2 of Doom Vito, big-time supporter. Uh, set a yeah, I mean, you can always make a great friend out of the deal, you know? He set a record on Patreon for being a $85 a month patron, which is fucking crazy. Hats off to him. Dicks out, hats off. Dicks up for Vito. I challenge anybody that <laughs> any, anybody that signs up to be a patron tonight. By the way, I will shout you out live on the show. Um, so I got to shout out my man, Carlos V. Carlos V, what's up? Uh, Carlos V just became a ten dollar a month patron. Carlos, thank you very much. Wow. Thank you for the support and enjoy all the bonus content on Patreon.com/slash Joe Cronin Show. Uh, remember that you can download the app and then search my name, and then just all the shit will pop up in your feed on your Patreon account. You'll get alerts sent to your phone. And you can sort through all the shit and have a lot of fun time. Uh, what Sorry, um, I can't stop laughing. No death just won the chat. He said her name before was Sean's view. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you if you if you read Sean's post on Facebook, 
fucking he might it be might he, add up. He, he might be there soon. You know, <laughs> he might be getting there. Although I did apologize to him the other night. So I won't really bring all that up. I just oh, felt I God. think I went over the line with that and I thought it was fucked up and so I just had to say something to him cuz I just it was fucked up. I think we went too far with it. I mean, it's funny to joke and it what is funny a little bit, but the dude's in a dark place. So, I don't know. I just thought it was fucked up. I don't think you needed that. And it was funny, but at the same time it was it was just, I thought it was public. It's like it's personal fucking Facebook. So, uh Well, you apologize and that doesn't happen often, so for you to apologize, that's good on you. you but know? I, I want to teach somebody real quick. A couple of people asked me this on um Patreon about this and they didn't they I guess they didn't know about it and I didn't know about it either. So, hang on one second here. Um yeah, so so if you go to posts on Patreon, I just going to show you guys this. If you go to posts on Patreon, and you go to, you click on posts if you're on the website, but even if you're on your phone, you can hit the post button on your phone on the app. And what happens is, is I've been sorting through these. Here's Morning Madness, right? So if you click this, it takes you to all the Morning Madness shows. So you can go straight down and scroll down through everything and download all the episodes you want or listen to them in success, in succession. And that makes it way easier. So a lot of people are like, how do I get to like a podcast you did three months ago? It's a pain in the ass to keep scrolling down. Well, they're all sorted out right here. Except for some of them are a little fucked up, like Corrupted Podcast. You know, it was under Corrupted, but then Corrupted Podcast. So you got to jump into both of those. Uh, there's music. So every time I make a ringtone or a sound or a musical song or something funny, that's all in music. I need to upload more. All my songs will be uploaded here eventually. Uh, monetize this is now being uploaded on audio only so you guys can download the audio to your phone without killing your app killing your fucking data plan and data rates uh, so whatever the fuck monetize this will be there uh, live Q&A's live videos I need to sort these so that they're all in just live see that and wrestling videos will be in wrestling and WWE needs to be switched to just wrestling so these will be organized a little bit better soon, but at least you can click on these to sort or just watch the regular feed as you go down to see, well, there's more Morning Madness episode 37, 38 minutes long. Uh, you know, here's all my other stuff that you get to see if you're a patron. And uh, so thank you guys for the support on Patreon, but that's what it's all about. I wanted to tell you guys about that. Uh, Jake, what do you got for uh, stuff that we uh, didn't cover here? Well, I uh, what's the best way to go forward with this week? Raw has to invade SmackDown. Has to. How can they not, you know, really? We saw SmackDown twice, well, technically three times with Daniel Bryan. And they said they're going to they're get revenge for Daniel Bryan, you know, attacking them. But uh, I, there, there better be some serious all-out carnage. I made a joke the other day saying with all the spoilers, I wanted to tweet out like fake spoilers like, oh, Brock Lesnar showed up to SmackDown and fucked everybody up. I know he probably wouldn't be game for it, but that's the level of, you know, insanity that they need at this point. They need to go all out. And, you know, the women's division, the tag division, main event guys, everybody, the Shield, the entire roster needs to, to come out and break the ring, tear everything apart, and fuck them all up. It, yeah. it make They have to, you know, I, I've Bleacher Report said this too, make fans believe that Survivor Series could be the biggest in history. Because right now, you know, we've got some huge dream matches, marquee matches. You know, if they do have Charlotte win the title, then that's going to be very big to see Charlotte and Alexa. AJ and Brock is fucking gigantic. Well, Let's we said, this I mean, matter. this was weeks ago. I, I said, like, yeah, dude, like, the last show, the go-home show for SmackDown is going to be chaos. Like, it's going to be nuts Tuesday night. It has to be. If it's not, then they, they fucked up big time. I don't, I don't think they can recover if they don't make it massive. It could be, too, that Charlotte wins the title. And then in the middle of the ring, the women might show up and beat the fuck out of Charlotte. That could and be... then everybody goes nuts from there. Yeah, and then I, it just I goes nuts. I truly hope that that's the case. Yeah. It's going to be, Tuesday night is going to be nuts because that's their last chance to sell it. They got to have SmackDown get back at Raw. I mean, Raw get back at SmackDown because so yeah. of our SmackDown's been smacking down Raw. SmackDown so. cost of the tag champs the titles. SmackDown went ahead and, you know, brought in the whole under siege angle. And it has to happen. Absolutely has to happen. So phone lines are open again, guys. And if you want to call up, you maybe got a few more minutes left here. So if you yeah, want to call, call the uh, call call Joe, not me. So yeah, phone lines are open, motherfuckers. Hey, Luke, just call me. Luke's on the phone. What's up, Luke? Yeah. So you know it's late. You know it's getting late when you accidentally call Jake DeMarco instead of you. <laughs> I'm making yeah. sure you know. Yeah, usually right. you know what's up. 
Guys, what's going on? Another day of talking shit about WWE? Yeah, basically. Yeah, essentially, basically. you know, we wanted to be excited that AJ won the fucking title, but it was just so spoiler ridden. You couldn't, that you, you couldn't, couldn't be excited. You couldn't oh. help but you know talk about the things that they still did kind of wrong. You know, it's weird. I got a kick out of it today at work. All of a sudden, you know, I see that the UK fans too that couldn't go, they had to wait till one a.m. their time to watch it on tape delay. Yeah, they I mean, didn't get to watch it live. That's my issue. That's <laughs> so fucked. I'm even more I, mad now because I I thought they could see it. But I'm more mad now, dude. Ninety, like what? What does that mean? Ninety nine percent of the, of the entire WWE audience learned about this through social media. Correct. I'm. I mean, okay. How anybody could say like, you know, Joe, you're really never happy with anything, are you? Well, I'm sorry. Ninety nine percent of the fan base learned about this six hours before they would have seen it. A a something that should have been epically celebrated. There should have been cum on my floor. Yeah, it would have been unanimously praised for him to take the title. I mean, you figure last week, not not this most recent one, the week before, SmackDown Live lost 500,000 viewers, right? That is the third lowest rating since the brand split happened. Third lowest. So Vince and, and people in creative decided that, hey, we're drowning over here. You know, we got to make a change. And of course, you know they they wanted to to reward AJ for all of his hard work and dedication to the company. They should have waited to this week. They should have waited. Yeah, I I, I yeah, don't I, understand the decision well, to do it I, in London. It makes no sense. Why do it a week early just so that there's a possibility, even though it may or may not happen, that gender could get his rematch this week? Yeah, exactly. That too okay. is is a little awkward. And plus, now you put Cena in the spot on the team, and Don't that wasn't even announced. That was that. announced on Twitter too, because AJ wins the belt. So they they could have announced after they didn't want to eclipse AJ's win by saying, "Oh, John Cena's also." So they should have announced that earlier in the night. But a lot of people felt like if they announced that, then they would have certainly known that. Oh well, Jinder's dropping the belt then. It's just and the fact that they have to bring Cena back. Oh my God! Don't well, why not wait for Tuesday to announce Cena's going to be on you know Team SmackDown? Why I, do it on Twitter? Because WWE don't know. What well, the because fuck they'll do doing, it on. Obviously. This is what they do. They love to do this. They love to announce it on social media, get the thing going, and then they love to reannounce it on the live show, and then bring up that oh, social media was a buzz. The people, it was crazy. Everyone talking about John Cena going to be on. Like you know, that's what they're going to do. So, uh, listen, Luke, I got to move on, but you got one more thing or, or anything else you want to say? I mean, other than the typical bullshit of what WWE is doing, you know, I'm kind of excited for the SummerSlam card, or sorry, Survivor Series card. You know, we'll see what happens. I like all the matches so far. Um, I know there's going to be a few shitholes. The other, only other thing I have to say before I go is why the fuck do you have to put Jason Jordan, the guy who you're freaking putting down everyone's throats, on Raw's team. Roman Just, Reigns 2.0, that's why. God damn. I, and that that's my only complaint. You have to put that fucker on. I mean, and then what's the point of Kane's push? Why not put him yeah. instead of Jason Jordan? I mean, that's my only gripe. That's my only gripe. Hey, this Jordan so, shit is Angle's kid is going to go down as one of the most retard things that they've ever done. Just call me Luke. Thank you for the call, man. How dumb is this And it could have been shit? epic, too. They could have done a lot with it. Also, want to uh, give everybody last call on the donations. If anybody wants to support the show, uh, the donation amounts are down below, and you can super chat with the dollar sign below, whichever way you want to do it. Last call for those, just so you don't get cut off. Uh, if you want to get to hear in. one so fucking horny before we get out of here, come oh, on, chat. Really? Well, yeah, I love the oh. me so horny, or I'm so horny. <laughs> but no, so uh, just last call on that, so I don't, so that way you don't do it, and then we're off air. Um, and now nine four zero is on the phone. What's up? What's going on, guys? This is Reggie, aka Raw Dog three hundred and sixteen. Oh, what's oh, up, Reggie? Shit. How you doing, man? Doing good. How about yourself, gentlemen? I'm aside for some heartburn. I'm good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> Fucking Wendy. Well, anyways, I'm a long time listener and viewer and whatnot, but uh, I was just wondering, have y'all guys heard the rumors about, like, say, Triple H being pissed at Jericho for doing the whole Wrestle Kingdom thing? Oh, thank you. I I I saw you write that in the chat before. I was going to bring that up, and I forgot about it because I got distracted. Really? Yeah. Apparently, they did not know at all uh, that that Jericho was doing this. I'm not. No one I'm, had a clue, dude. I, I'm I'm sure they they didn't. I'm sure they wanted him to. Like they just 
Remember, Jeremy Jacobs or Jimmy Jacobs was the one who created the idea of the list. And they just had the whole new background for Jericho with the list looking like it was Christmas. Um, and they put they put a lot of stuff into this, and now they're not going to get that. They're not going to have that. And he went and did this, and then they got rid of Jer Jimmy Jacobs. And I'm sure that Jericho partly also did this, not only because... And this, by the way, this also tells you where Jericho wants to be. Where he thinks, like, what's the next awesome thing he can do? Oh, it's not in WWE, it's Kenny Omega. And also, fuck you for fucking my friend Jimmy Jacobs up. You know, so, like, I mean, I'm, there's some weird shit going on. But, yeah, tell me about this story. Is there anything else to it? I mean. Well, wow. like, say, I heard that, and then, like, say, um, I've been hearing rumors that, like, say, possibly Jericho is doing this to maybe lure Kenny Omega to come into the WWE. Yeah, see, I've heard that, too. It's it's like, okay, well, Triple H is mad at him, whatever, but, but this is also a ploy by Vince. Like, he sent Jericho over there to get this going, so then there could be hype when he comes over to WWE, I guess, but that, that doesn't sound – none of this sounds right to me, really. It just – I think they're just like, oh. Yeah, there's a lot of angles to it currently, you know. Uh, it first starts, you know, like Wrestling Inc. says, Chris Jericho, who came up with the idea. And, you know, Jericho got the idea watching the build-up to Conor McGregor. Yeah. And apparently, you know, he thought that this would be huge. He wants to test the popularity of both him and WWE over in Japan. And a lot of people feel like he is a plant, but... And then you hear everything being said about, you know, WWE management being so pissed off about him going over that it doesn't seem like that's likely, so. Yeah. But does Jericho have, like, say, a legit contract with the WWE, or... Cause if he no, he's a, he's a free agent, last I had read. Because if he doesn't, then they have no right to really be pissed at him, do they? <laughs> uh, I, I would think not, but, I mean, you could still be upset about it. It's one of those not things true. where... Like Sense. They think that he's probably going to be around, you know what I mean? And and now, like, oh, shit. Like, he didn't say to us. Like, maybe they thought, oh, you know, Jericho would say to us, hey, you need me for anything? Because otherwise I'm thinking about doing this Wrestle Kingdom thing. And then maybe WWE would have cock-blocked it and been like, oh, no, no, we'll sign you for a little time. We need you during that time, you know? And they would have just done that to have, to make sure he doesn't go over there. But, yeah, because I mean, like, say, Mick Foley occasionally does stuff for other people, doesn't he? Yeah, Mick Foley does a lot of independent stuff. And they don't really care that much all the time about yeah. what Mick Foley does. Well, for some well reason. here's the thing. Uh, you know, and Jericho's still wrestling for this... them. Foley's not wrestling all the time like Jericho is. But yeah, go ahead, Jer right. Jake. Sorry. Exactly. Uh, you know, this was reported. Ex WWE writer thinks Vince McMahon is in on the Jericho Omega build because I mean, we saw it announced at Power Struggle because the Bullet Club issued an open challenge and the crowd went nuts. We saw Jericho on the big screen with the, the promo, and the announcement led to a, a huge bit of speculation how a lifelong WWE wrestler is wrestling for a match for another top promotion you know would Vince allow this so Andrew Goldstein uh, said Jericho Omega will start at Wrestle Kingdom and resume at Royal Rumble two weeks later and lead to a Wrestlemania match guarantee Vince McMahon is in on this oh huh. man makes I mean... sense I mean when you think about it they've been trying to poach Omega for quite a long time now When's uh, Ome and Omega's deal is up in March, I think. I, I don't know, though. I think it's March. I, I, I think it's end of February or early March was okay. what we last reported on. Yeah, because so, uh, I remember last year, and like he we went on the Meltzer show. He went on the Wrestling Observer just to be like, not going to be at the Rumble. Like, I'm just telling you now, I don't want people to be disappointed, not going to be there, signing with New Japan for a year. Yeah, I remember that. And then... Uh, you know, the belief is that Jericho, who worked with WWE for most of his career, has permission from Vince McMahon and WWE to engage in a feud with Kenny Omega, appear at Wrestle Kingdom, and then subsequently, New Japan gave Omega permission to finish the program at WrestleMania. That just doesn't... It's so weird. I know, it that sounds so... <laughs> but they're going back to, like, you know, poaching from territories now, and, you yeah. know, you, you made a few really great points i mean with your you know is wwe ruining the indies uh video that you uploaded the other day if people haven't seen that they got to check it out but yeah it's I, a, I don't know it, it is it's just it's it's very odd that's for sure it's you know like you would never assume for them to work with another company but yeah, then you know they were at insane wrestling this they is were, a company you know, they, that's they, yeah but this is different like new japan is a big company that's like trying to even get into california now i mean they could like legitimately compete with the WWE. They've got the Bullet Club stuff. WWE doesn't like them. 
Um, I just don't see that. Just, I, I know it's it's hard to believe, but even people just talking about Wrestle Kingdom still gets eyes when you know people talking about Jericho leads them back to WWE. This is right before Survivor Series, so so I I, I don't know. It, it it certainly could be well in the realm of believability. I, I thank you for the call, man. Uh, great call. Um, we had to move on. I'm sorry to hang up on you without letting you get one more chance, but uh, six one eight, what's up? Oh, it's just Marvin, and I just wanted to let you know it was, it's the New Japan World app, and it's nine ninety nine. The New Japan World app, and it's nine ninety nine. How long has that been out? Because I don't remember where I watched the last three Wrestle Kingdoms. I think about maybe a year old. Okay, it's not that new. All right, well, that's cool, it's not dude. That old, dude. I'll download that. I wonder if I can see it on. But yeah, so you can only cool. watch it on your tablet or your phone, then, though, right? E uh you can cast I, it to your TV, I believe. But Oh, there you go. It's probably castable, yeah. yeah. Uh, Brian oh. in the chat said, I heard Jericho's doing it because WWE wouldn't have any NXT or main roster stars on his cruise. I've heard that as well. Yeah, that he was upset That just sounds very that. petty to me, though. I don't know. Yeah, but Jericho's kind of a shit like that, too. Yeah, you know, he, like, he is like, vindictive. So. Like, oh, you don't want to play that game? That's cool. Watch what I fucking do here. And it's not even like he'll hold a grudge forever. He'll just do it in the moment, and he's like that. Like, and I'm not joking, like, this kind of goes into, like, his whole deal. Uh, you know, because he'll be like, and Marvin, thanks for the call, man. Marvin, thanks for that tip. Big shout out to Marvin for the fucking New Japan app. Yeah, um, that's great. Yeah, I mean, he'll totally, like, be like, all right, well, fuck you, I'm doing this. And then he'll, you know, he won't even hold a grudge. But, yeah, I don't know, man. A lot of the guys aren't, I don't think, are happy with guys like Jimmy leaving, uh, you know, Neville leaving, Austin Aries situation. And just so on and so on. It's very weird what's going on right now. Uh, let's let's move to those donations before we come to our final thoughts here, and see if yeah. anybody uh, who's supporting the show with some dollar bills. Let's see what's oh, you're up. Bringing those up. Did you see that uh, Jinder destroyed the Singh brothers after SmackDown? Yeah, I saw well? him beat the shit out of. Well, he did it before <laughs> it ended. He did it on cam. He beat punch. It continued the afterwards, I guess. Though. Wow, that's funny. He was pissed. Get tooled. All right, here we go. We got bits coming in. Love the show, Joe. Thank you very much. Hey, Pavy415. Thank you, man. Always supporting with hundreds of bits over there on Twitch. We have been live from Twitch. We started late on Twitch tonight. Apologize that to the to the uh, Twitch audience who came in late. But uh, yo, what's up to the Twitch? Uh, also to people on YouTube twitch.tv slash Joe Cronin JCS uh, Pavy uh, thank you man for dropping that those hundred bits and uh, we'll be live yeah, yeah. Friday night for monetize this if you guys want to get raunchy with us that night Coxview Entertainment says my motto for transgender women if she look like a chick and she ain't got a dick then I will hit <laughs> Sean's View uh, Sean's View Entertainment Thank you very much, Sean's View, for that donation. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that laugh fucking from you? Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking. Man, if you caught me off guard, that donation. If you laugh like that on your fucking extra day stream or whatever the fuck it's called. Shit extra bomb. Life. I'm going to drill that in Russ of D-A-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-
You put the P in pussy. Uh, thank you very much, Shell, for the uh, sixteen dollars. Oh my God, I'm so horny. Donation, Jake. You got what you wanted. You asked for that. Oh you my fuck. God, I'm so oh, it's coming horny. again. Oh God, it's I'm coming so again. Oh it's God, coming again. Twice in a row. Happy fucking birthday. Oh my God, so fucking horny. Oh, oh my, my God, God, so horny. Oh my God, so horny. Happy birthday. Happy oh, fucking horny, birthday. Horny, horny, horny. Donation, donation time, time. Put it in my round bum. <laughs> Boom, Jake. <laughs> Bone Jake? What? That's all it came up? Fucking boom, Jake. Oh, I thought it said. Boom, I thought, oh, God. Throw. I thought it said Bone Jake. I was like, oh, fucking <laughs> Bone Jake. Yeah. That's what everybody wants yeah, to do baby. is Bone Jake. Oh, my God. I'm so oh fucking horny. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Happy fucking birthday. Oh, my God. So what fucking horny. Fuck oh, my God. So is happening. horny. Oh my god, so horny! Happy birthday! Oh, oh honey, 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 donation, donation time, time, put it in my round bum! Wow, wow. Thanks again for taking my call. And you fucks in the chat are the best. Hey! BTW Jericho versus Omega is gonna be a fantastic match. I'm calling it now. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait for it, man. Just call me Luke. Thank you, Luke. Fucking Thank you. A, right. Hell yeah. Fucking Luke and V2 of Doom Vito. Shell was in there. Jericho was also reported that was a to triple, triple H wouldn't let him use NXT guys on his. Yeah. Wrestling Cruise. Uh, this is what we just said this. Yeah, you're right. Uh, the Bear 1322 brought up how Jericho's mad at them for the cruise. But you know what? Jericho and Kenny Omega also appeared to be mad at each other as they worked everybody before the situation happened with them having a match, which is also kind of kayfabing it, too, in a way, because they're having a match. So Yeah, really. You, know, you don't know what the fuck to believe. <laughs> the, the Bear, thanks for the $5 super chat. And for that good tip. And for the tip, yeah. Appreciate Nothing that. Shit tip. bum. Shit bum. Joe, you can watch NJPWworld.com on your Xbox through the Internet Explorer app, bruh. Oh, shit. You don't need the app. CJ Bradley, thank you, man, for another big tip. Saving us money here. Saving us. Oh, shit. See? Just saving us through all this shit. CJ Bradley, man, really, really appreciate that. All right, I'm going to try all that shit, see if it works, because this year at Wrestle Kingdom... I will not be watching on a piece of shit stream like I am yeah, for no. every other Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah, we can't have it cut out and miss two thirds of the match again. And yeah, I mean, like, dude, I the Jr. one I was watching and like it was like fucking Jr. was like way behind the action. And it was like it was all jacked up. Like Jr. was like, wow. Like, oh my god! I'm so oh my god! Horny. Oh my god! Oh my so god! Horny. Oh my god! I'm so fucking horny! Happy <laughs> fucking birthday! Oh my god! So fucking horny! Oh my god! So horny! We got it. Oh my god! So horny! Happy birthday! Oh honey, honey, honey! Donation, donation time, time! Put it in my round bum. <laughs> It's getting fucking weird right now. It's getting really weird right now. Duh. One more time. One more time from V2 of Doom Vito on Out of Nowhere. I went from a three-way to a quad, baby. That was a quad so fucking horny. It's better than what Sean's view has. He has a cock fest at his house. Uh, where's my fucking controller? <laughs> You're going to have a seizure if you find it. V2 of Doom, thank you for the 16 bucks, man. Man, Holy me. shit, Shell, Vito, fucking A, just call me Luke. Dude, where's my fucking remote? The Bear, CJ Bradley. Leah, have you seen Everybody the tonight, thank I you. I hit the, I turned it on with the remote, and then I, it's like the fucking <laughs> remote disappeared, and I don't know what's going on. Oh my god, what is happening right now? Happy fucking What is fucking happening right now? Oh my god, so horny. Oh my god, so horny. Happy birthday. Oh, honey, 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 donation, donation. Shake that ass. Put it in my round bomb. Look Let's go, it's horny time. Oh my god, just call me Luke. Delivers another $16. What is fucking happening? I found the remote. You're not gonna fucking believe this. 
Look at this. I'm sitting here. I'm sitting right here at my desk. And I, oh, fucking, I can't even. I'm sitting here at my <laughs> desk. And it's a mess, by the way, but I'm sorry. It's a mess. And, and I'm like, I, I, all right, I had the remote in my hands, and all of a sudden it's gone. Want to see where it is? Want to see why I couldn't figure out where it was? I dropped it on the desk. I thought, and I go, where the fuck? It disappeared in the thin air. Watch this. It was fucking tilted this way so I couldn't see it. But it also <laughs> it blended in with the you. keyboard. So I was like, oh, I fucking see where it went. God fucking damn it is my desk a mess. Oh, man. Well. Oh, shit. I'm out of fucking that breath. Fucking banger. Dude, what just happened at the end of this show? This my show just got empty, nuts. Baby. You guys funded the fucking show, though, tonight. Thank you so much. V2 of Doom, CJ Bradley, the bear. Just call me Luke Shell. Fucking, uh... Uh, CJ Bradley, we shot him out. The bear, we shot out everybody. Uh, yeah, who, who else did I miss? Uh, Luke. Oh my god, I'm so fucking horny. Oh my god. fucking god, what the fuck? Oh my god, I'm so fucking horny. Happy fucking birthday. <laughs> oh my god, so what fucking is fucking horny. going on right now? Oh, keep oh it my going. God, I'm so horny. Happy birthday. Oh, horny, 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 Oh my God! Joe's exploding. Now. The fuck is happening? Oh, <laughs> CJ Bradley, thank you so much, CJ Bradley. Uh, Just it, I'm horny. <laughs> the fuck is going on right now? CJ Bradley, thank you for another sixteen dollars. <laughs> what the fuck is? You know, deep throat. Oh. oh my God! I'm so oh my God! Horny. No. Oh, so what horny. is going oh on? God, I'm so fucking horny. Happy fucking birthday! Oh my God! So fucking horny. Oh my God! So horny. Oh my God! So horny. Happy birthday! Oh honey, horny, Happy horny. Donation, birthday. donation time, time. Put it in my round bum. Yeah. Come on. Come on, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. come on. Yeah. Oh my god, shell. Let's do IT. Horny, horny, horny. Indeed. Oh my god, let's do it. Fucking shell. People are just making this fucking. <laughs> fucking shell. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shell with the $16 just trying to keep this thing going. You see the chat? One more time. One more time. Yeah, this shit is out of control right now with this fucking... This is crazy. Retrograde oh. chimes in saying, I want sluts. I'm out of breath because I just kept fucking just dancing and shit. And and just dancing and twerking and... I, I just ate a USB drive. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you swallowed that thumb drive. How do I get this thing to stop blinking now? <laughs> Leah, Leah goes, I'm going to have a fucking seizure. I'm going to have a seizure. Thank you, Shell. You know what's funny, too? Because my house is like... Dead Boom. quiet. You don't even hear a cricket chirp. You just hear me going, "Oh, you know, it's so fucking horny." Yeah, your kid, your daughter's like, "What the hell's dad <laughs> the doing?" What is dad yelling about? Put it in my round bum. Yeah, put it in my round bum. Put it in my round bum. Yeah. And then she's at school, like they're like, "Oh," and she's like, "Oh my god, so fucking horny." Put it in my round bum. <laughs> my dad's. Um, we're gonna have to talk to you. Yeah, this is why you're not allowed to have sleepovers at the house anymore. Yeah, they're like uh, they're calling the cops on you. Yeah, really. Like you're fucking in trouble, man. That was insane. I've never seen <laughs> sixteen dollars. That that was a record. We've never seen that many sixteen dollar do donations jo uh, show up. That was insane, chat. Was we love you. Crazy. That was great. Thank you guys. That was funny as fuck. Um, but yeah, save some for monetize this. But, yeah, uh, we got monetize this, and then we started to talk about it. We got the charity stream Saturday. That's Saturday. right. It's Extra Life. Once again, we're raising money for the oh Connecticut Children. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're going for seven. Oh, my God. I'm so fucking horny. Happy fucking birthday. Oh, so oh, fuck. God. So fucking horny. One oh, more God. time. So horny. One more time. Oh, my God. So horny. Happy birthday. Oh, horny, horny, horny. Donation, donation. Time, time. Put it in my round bum. Let's all yeah. fuck. Let's all fuck! <laughs> Dude, Shell just goes... <laughs> Shell's donation just says, Let's all fuck. That is the greatest fucking donation thing I've ever heard. Like... This is a donation train. Oh God, Let's so all fuck. Oh, fuck. oh my God. Fuck. Oh, my God. So oh, my God. Horny. Oh, my God. I'm so fucking horny. Happy fucking birthday. Oh, my God. So fucking horny. Oh, my God. So horny. Oh, 
my god, I'm so horny. Happy birthday. Oh, honey, honey, honey. Donation, donation. Time, time. Put it in my round bomb. Swear to God! Fucking YOLO hashtag keep her going. <laughs> keep her going! That was from Everybody our. Everybody wants to keep this fucking show never ending, baby. Dude, that was from our friend King Thunder. King Thunder, thank oh, you so King much, Thunder. Uh, King Thunder. Oh my God, King Thunder! God, dude, this is fucking out of control. This is out of control, not oh, out of nowhere. I love this. this. Is fucking insane. This is out of nowhere, baby. <laughs> if he goes, I love this. <laughs> I he love drops a hundred bits. This, <laughs> what is happening right now? Is this how the end of if this if the end of the, every show is like this? We would have an eight hour long show every day and have a studio by now. If, if this is the way that <laughs> be fucking crazy. If this shit happened every day, like I would do an eight hour broadcast every day. This is fucking crazy. Um, Donations are out of nowhere. I'm gonna fucking have a dominant die. Literally, <laughs> you're just gonna pass out. Oh my god, I'm what so the fuck? Oh, oh my god, I'm so fucking horny. Oh my god, I'm so fucking horny. Happy fucking birthday. Oh my god, so you fucking horny. Joe. Oh my god, I'm so horny. Broken oh my god, line. So horny. Happy birthday. Oh, honey, Don't honey, honey. Donation, donation. Time, time, time. Put it in my round bum. Oh, my dick is wet. Oh, my dick wet, is yo. wet. Yeah. My fucking cock is soaked. Oh, Jake, don't oh. ask for anything you can't handle. <laughs> don't ask for anything you can't handle. That was fucking broken lion, dude. Thank you for the another sixteen dollar donation. What is that? I just, Holy I just, shit. my whole ass and cock is soaked right now. <laughs> you my really ass and cock is soaked. Oh, oh, I'm so fucking horny. What oh, the fuck god, is so happening now? Happy fucking birthday. What is happening? Oh, so fucking horny. Oh my god, so horny. Oh my god, so horny. Happy birthday. Oh, oh honey, honey, honey. Donation, donation. Time, time. Put it in my round bomb. Make it rain, move it Make it This is crazy. <laughs> I just came. <laughs> I was fucking uh, V2 of Doom. Vito is coming back for more. And dropping just what? is this monetize this right? We're trying to we're like hey let's it's let's let's end the show out of nowhere. Let's end the show, Jake. And oh we're like yeah. God, so oh my god, horny. what oh the fuck is happening? Oh my god, I'm so fucking horny. Happy fucking birthday. Oh my god, so fucking horny. Oh my god, so horny. Oh my god, so horny. Happy birthday. Oh honey, horny, honey. Donation, donation. Time, time. Put it in my round bum. Uh, uh, like a flan! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> nope, this ain't over. Me so horny. Oh my Take god! My money, duh. Like a flan keeps it going. Does like a flan? Like a flan? Wow, bro. I mean, <laughs> me so humble. Me so humble. Oh my god, I'm so me fucking so horny. Oh my god, I'm so fucking horny. Oh my god, I'm so fucking horny. Happy fucking birthday. Oh my god, so Come fucking on. horny. Oh my god, I'm so horny. What oh my god, god. I'm so horny. Ah. Happy birthday. Oh, oh honey, horny, horny. Oh. Donation, donation. Time, time. Put it in my <laughs> round bum. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Horny, horny, fuck me in my heart, bum. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Horny, horny, fuck me in my hard bum. <laughs> Shell says, horny, horny, fuck me in my hard bum. All my house here is right now is this. What? Oh my god, I'm so fucking horny. What is happening <laughs> right now? Horny. Oh my fuck god, I'm so happening? fucking horny. Happy fucking birthday. Oh my god, oh my so fucking god. horny. Oh my god, so horny. Oh my god, so horny. Happy birthday. Oh, oh honey, honey, honey. Don't eat it, butter on the floor. Put it in my round bum. Way more. Cock and balls. Yeah. Oh. Cock and balls. <laughs> Cock and balls. Oh my god. Cock and that's balls. That's what 13. That's number 13. That is uh is that the really the 13th 16 dollar sure donation in a row? Give me a 69 in the chat everybody. Dude, Leah's face. I what everyone in the chat is actually talking about Leah right now. Oh my god. 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 Oh my god.
I'm fucking Bobby Roode! Uh, Triple H wants to fuck me! Glorious! You could say these donations came out of nowhere, and they're glorious. Let's go, chat, let's keep IT going. <laughs> what is happening right now? Just call me Luke, thanks for the $24, Luke. <laughs> Luke, Luke, Luke broke up the chain! Luke broke up the chain by going to 24 from the from the 16. Leah's face over here is like this, like. And then she goes back to her game, and then she'll listen to me like, Ugh. she's fucking, it's so mad right now. Ah, oh, my God, just call me Luke. Thank you. Uh, God damn, what the you made fuck? that fucking glorious. We, you know what? It's funny. We had 13 orgasms, and it ended so glorious. Oh, man, I am fucking out of breath. I need I am, a sandwich. I am shocked. <laughs> you guys um, are amazing. Leah is is like furious. Um, I can't believe this is happening right now. Uh, well represented. Yeah, we love you. Yeah. Can shit. we get a sniffles sex line, pretty pretty, please? God damn, is this weird? I'm gonna do a big sex line. I'll monetize this on Friday night. Yeah, it's gonna absolutely. Be nuts. Everybody's waiting for sniffles. Bro. I've got a wheel. Look, I'm gonna have a wheel of potential people. I will call the sex line as. Oh shit! And that will be like a featured. Huge. That'll be like a featured moment on the show. Pavey. Well, keep this going, everyone. Pavey says to keep this going. I don't know. I'm out of water to keep this going, Pavey. That was insane. Joe is soaking wet. I'm soaking wet right shorts. now. We're supposed to end the show, and I'm soaking wet. God damn, you guys are fucking amazing. That was incredible. <laughs> Stabby with a butcher knife. Yeah, wow. What a fucking train. You guys ran that train on us hard. Real hard. Poor Joe is just sopping wet. No regret. Though. Oh my god, I'm so fucking horny. Oh my god, I'm so fucking horny. Oh my god, I'm so fucking horny. Joe, we're coming again. Oh my god, so fucking horny. Oh my god, I'm so horny. Oh my god, I'm so horny. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so horny. Oh my god, I'm so horny. Happy birthday. What the fuck is going on? Oh, horny, horny, horny. Donation, donation. Time, time. Put it in my round bum. Yeah. Uh. Ball sack, I just came. Ball sack, I just came. Broken line. Was that broken line? Broken line just simply says. That was broken line. <laughs> ball sack, I just came. You know what? I'm going to give everybody something because we did this. Because you guys donated so much tonight, I'm going to show you the call that I played. Oh my God, I'm so fucking Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so fucking horny. Fucking... Oh my God, I'm so what fucking is happening? Happy fucking birthday. Oh my God. So fucking horny. Oh my God. So horny. Oh my God. So horny. Happy birthday. Oh, horny, horny, horny. Donation, donation. Time, time. Put it in my round bum. Let's go! I got that fucking cock, got that cock! Yeah. Oh. OMG, OMG, yes, 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 I am coming, OMG, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> that was Shell. Shell, Shell, I love you, <laughs> Shell. Oh my god, oh my god, yes, yes, I'm coming, oh my god, yes, yes, I'm coming. Yes. What is oh happening? Oh my god, I'm so fucking horny. What oh the my god, fuck? I'm so fucking horny. What oh the my god, I'm so fucking horny. Right Happy now. fucking birthday. I've never seen oh anything like so this. So horny. Oh my god, so horny. Oh, oh my god, so horny. horny. Happy birthday. Oh, horny, horny, horny. Donation, donation. Time, time. Oh Put it in my round bum. Chicka doo doo, Justin McNeil. Chicka Justin Ma. Chicka. Yes. Justin. Horny. Horny! Oh, yeah, my balls are soaked and wet. <laughs> Hi, Leah. What? Hi, Leah. Super chat party. Oh, I'm a little, uh, a little sweaty. <laughs> my God. <laughs> guys are making me just talk. Everyone's texting Horny in the chat. God damn. Uh, Joe is nut bunny. Yeah, it was. So, uh, nut bunny. Cabretti says nut bunny. Shout out to Leah for that. Two bucks. Wow, I think we're finally done. Yeah, Shell just said in the chat, she's spent. Yeah, you got to play that call that you had. Yeah, Shell just came. Listen, I'm going to play a call. 
I had a special patrons only call earlier today. We did a Q and A. It wasn't a long one. It was like a real brief one. It wasn't even a big one. But at the end, we got a phone call from somebody. Uh, it was from Tommy. Oh my God! I'm so oh my God! Oh my God! I'm so fucking horny! Oh my God! I'm so fucking horny! Holy Happy shit. fucking birthday! Oh my God! So fucking horny! Oh horny. my God! So horny! Oh my God! So horny! horny. Happy birthday! Oh honey, horny, horny, horny! Donation, donation, horny. donation! Time, time! Put it in my round bum! <laughs> Whoa. Joe, say thanks to Jake. Uh, thanks to thank yeah, say you're right. Thank you, Jake. Because didn't you <laughs> you asked for this earlier, right? I did indeed. You just I, said you I just wanted, wanted to hear one, and it turned. I just into wanted like, it once, not seventeen times. It, but you guys fucking delivered. My God, stand and deliver, man. That was oh, what the fuck with this bastards. This audience the testosterone over here. The Joe Cronin Show listeners, the out of nowhere listeners, the support from me, the support for Jake and Justin and Ken and everybody else. You guys are in full-on fucking beast mode right now. I've never incredible. seen... Listen, I mean, we've done monetize. This is that are, are way huge, like it's crazy. But I've never seen that many simultaneous uh, donations of the same amount like that. I've, yeah, like, I know. You guys... Went, that's 18, Derek said in the chat. 18 so fucking hornies, along that, with a Bobby Roode glorious. That is fucking crazy. Luke. You know, it's funny. Uh, we can't thank you all enough. That is insane. I, I've just, the chat I've, organized themselves. They they like fucking. They were like, I'm fucking shocked right now. Like I know I was dumping shit on myself, but what the fuck just happened? That was nuts, guys. Like really, that was amazing. That just made my night. That was the funniest <laughs> Holy thing. Holy shit! I've never seen anything like that. That was funny as fuck. Oh, excuse me. It was 19 times says Minnesota Vikings fan. <laughs> oh my. 19. All right, before you play the call, I know you want to get the hell out of here, so I'll get oh through my this Oh, God, quick. guys. Thank you. Uh, thank you, guys. Yeah, Everybody thank that did. thank you so much. Every one of you that just raided us with donations. That was amazing. That was insane. Thank you. Saturday, join us after Monetize This. It'll be Saturday noon. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll tweet it out, but uh, extra-life.org slash participant slash countdown ended. Raising money for the Children's Medical Center in Hartford, Connecticut. Yeah. 100% of all proceeds collected goes directly towards benefiting sick kids. All of your donations are tax deductible as well. So uh, we're going to have a few special guests. Okay, Fabe, Justin Bailey from the JB Show, Ken from the Foul Mouth Network, and of course, the one and only Joe motherfucking Cronin. Going to be raising money for sick kids. It's a great opportunity to help out, do something nice, and uh, we'll see you guys Saturday. Hopefully you can come out and help. We got some uh, special donation alerts, which isn't going to be annoying at all. Oh my God, I'm so fucking horny. Oh my God, I'm oh so my God, horny. Oh more. my God, I'm so fucking horny. Happy fucking birthday. Oh my God, so, so fucking, fucking horny. horny. Oh my God, so horny. Oh my God, so horny. Happy birthday. Oh, honey, horny, horny. Donation, donation. Yes, time, baby. time. It. Put it in my round bum. Put it in your round bum. We are not done. Fuck you, Tommy. NBTW Joe Grimm was on Total Divas again. Grimm was on Total Divas again? What a b He's always on that, the bitch. Hey, way more. Thank you, man. We ain't done till you guys say we're done, I guess. But uh, way more. <laughs> Fucking way more. Thank we're you, man. We're on number 20 now. I don't know why I decided to whip out a candy bar and stuffed it in my mouth. And Oh, because you're not yourself when you're hungry, Finish Joe. it. Man, way more. Thank you for that, way more. Long time dude right there. Way, way more is the shit. Way more. This was a last call. We had last call for donations tonight, Jake, and that was a motherfucking last call. I have never that seen. Insane. That I just was, wanted to hear it once, and you guys fucking delivered. That was a last call like I've never heard before, and I've done a lot of last calls, motherfucker. Where's my last call music? Somebody <laughs> fucking po play my fucking last call Take my penis out and scream and shout. Chris Jericho. That was Jericho. You can't hear that, though, Jake. So Jake just hears me no. screaming. Just sounds like me screaming. And uh, so I'm sorry about that. I play it from the chat every now and again. But, Chris Blaze tweeted me before. He's like, with all the energy, I'm out of nowhere right now. It's safe to call it Wednesday night. Monetize this. Yeah, this show went off the rails from wrestling. I mean, we had two hours of good wrestling talk. And then Absolutely. we just said last news call. Rumors. People went fucking nuts. And here we are. Okay, let's really end the show, though. Uh, thank you guys so much for, for all the fucking for everything tonight, being here, for clicking the like button, for uh, sharing the video, for subbing to the channel, for everything you guys do, for all the donations, all the support on Patreon as well. Got some bonus shit coming up on Patreon for everybody. 
And uh, we'll see you. T I'm going to be doing something tomorrow night. I believe I'm going to be streaming Diablo 3 tomorrow night, maybe with Leah, uh, maybe with a couple other people. Uh, tomorrow night is the beginning of Season uh, 13, so I will be playing Diablo. I think I'll be streaming here from Corrupted and from Twitch, I believe. Uh, so you can look for me. If you want to, it's going to be a chilled out stream. It's not going to be nuts. I'm not going to be very entertaining. I'm going to be really playing the game and talking to a few of you guys. So you can you can ask questions, you can drop a couple of bucks, whatever you want to do, fucking call, you know, I can't take calls actually, but I'll be playing the game. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow night, and that'll probably be right after like the Orville or something, and then Friday night will be monetized this and we'll really party, so, and also September, uh, I'm sorry, I keep saying September, uh, November 11th, Saturday, I believe, Saturday in, uh, make sure you guys are out to uh, Top Rope Promotions. That is the Bridgewater show, I believe, with uh, Hurricane Helms. Check out Top Rope Promotions uh, link page. Former WWE superstar Hurricane Helms is going to be out there with us, and it's going to be a big night. I will be on um, <clears throat> on commentary. And uh, Friday night for Monetize This right here on Corrupted. And then we'll be going back to the Joe Cronin show for live videos starting December 17th. Give me that hell, yeah. or December 18th, rather. We'll be live again from the JCS show. Play the Tommy Call, says VO, V2 of Doom. And anything for you, Vito. Here we go with the call uh, that happened on Patreon earlier for the patrons that heard the whole Q&A, but I will play this call for you guys because, God damn it, people deserve something for this fucking... I think people just threw $300 at us to end the show, so you guys yeah, got to get something here. I mean, you know what, Jake? Uh, we're talking about Jake getting Jake a laptop, too, so that's going to help with that fun, too. So everything you guys do, I, got, I had to get a new headset thing for downstairs. And all this other bullshit, so thank you for covering that. And here we go. Where's the fucking call? I just gotta find it. <clears throat> Jake won't be able to hear it. Um, here it is. Q&A video. I just gotta find the spot when he calls. I gave him some shit. It's kind of funny. Oozes that. Yeah, like, it's it was excellent. so weird. Leah's freaking out over here. Like, it was like a fucking rope. It just goes... Oh, yeah, I swallowed a big hair yeah. on our radio here, because he, like... Well, if I have yeah, the pube sandwich. Video, Face ain't smiling like that now. Uh, Mike Felger uh, got in trouble in uh, locally. On the okay, here it is. <clears throat> I found it. Here's the call from Tommy. Um, I want to say thank you one more time before I play this call to everybody. Thank you. The donations are off. So don't donate it again because I don't want you to spend your money when we're off the air. Don't donate. The donations are off. Thank you. I love you guys. And uh, again, thank you very, very much for that. That was crazy. That was a lot of fun. And here's the call. That happened on Patreon earlier tonight. On our radio here, because he like lambasted Halliday. Like, you called him a moron for crashing his plane. I'm going to fuck with Tommy. Tommy's calling right now. I'm going to fuck with him. I don't think he oh, doesn't know we're live. Hello. Hey, Joe. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, okay, man. What's up? How are you doing? Oh, you, you're doing... Oh, my bad. You're doing out of nowhere. I apologize. I'm not live yet, but uh, I'll be live in a minute. What's up? I just wanted to uh, apologize to you if, if I have said anything or done anything to upset you or piss you off and what has led to this gigantic shit fest. There's, no, there's no shit fest. I mean, you know, uh, and I... <laughs> you know, I stopped the reviews, you know, because I got tired of everybody just, you know, giving me <laughs> shit I... for it. And, you know, uh, me and Hobbs are doing a new show called the Going Insane Podcast now on Fridays. <laughs> and, you know, we've been doing that before you, if, you know, we do that, you know, around. Tommy, I don't care if you go, I don't care if you go fucking up. I don't care if you do a show while I'm live. I don't even care. Well, it was just all the viewers giving me shit and saying, "Oh, I'm not a friend of yours. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a good friend if I go live." And I'm like, "Yeah, it's a little weird, but you know what? I don't care. I really didn't care. I really barely mentioned it. It was other people. Other people got mad. I don't even care. It's all fucking crush your ass." <laughs> 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 I, I just want to make sure that me and you are good, and I don't want to have be on bad terms with you. And you know, I, and here's the thing, man. I will always stick up for you, 
no matter the cost. Uh, you know, like, if people are talking shit about you, I'll have your fucking back. I always have your back, man. And really? I see, yeah. I, just like I, in that, uh, just like when, uh, like that time uh, Keemstar uh, talked shit about me, but Ken had to stick up for me and you didn't? <laughs> I'm sorry if, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ken Tommy, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Oh, but you really didn't. But no, I love you, Tommy. It's all good, man. Don't worry about it. I'm just fucking around. I got to start my show. There's, there's no problem, man. You're all good. Don't worry about it. I don't give a fuck. So I, I can come back on. Mon uh, is there actually we'll see you later, Tommy. Thanks for calling. Uh, uh, all right, guys. Let's go. It's out of nowhere time. Uh, we got to go. Become a member of the Cronin Club by going to patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Get eight hours of bonus content a week not seen on YouTube. YouTube doesn't like the controversial stuff, but I am free to do what I want to do on Patreon. They won't be taking down these videos, so get the following for just five bucks a month. Access to polls, the corrupted podcast every week featuring myself, Ken, and Justin Bailey. Morning Patreon mobile app. All this and so much more available on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Join the Cronin Club today. The club is calling. Cronin Club.